What's going on, Nick? What's up, bro? Do you use intro workout? Always. Intro R3? Every time. I got to have it cold. You got to have it cold? Extra cold. So the guys at Ice Shaker knew I liked it cold and knew that I liked ice in my drink while I was mm-hmm. during, my, yeah, during my workout. And they fucking sent me this. Did you get one? Because they knew you liked it too. You got one too. I got one. Look how fucking big this thing is. It's like the size like of my head. My head. <laughs> and it's got and a I handle got a on head. it. And you can take the top off so you can put ice in it and stuff. And you don't, yeah. need, a, you don't need a funnel. It's got a massive opening. Never need a funnel with this thing. Never need a funnel. It's perfect. Never. Keep everything cold for like the hour and a half that you're training. Ice cold. Let me show you. Let's see it. So this is the Ice Shaker website. You go here, use code RBP at checkout. You get 20% off. This is the jug. Look at you get the one gallon jug and the half ju- half gallon jug. I think you got the half gallon. I think I got the full. No, you got no, the one gallon. This is, a, this is a full. Let me see it again. This is a gallon. Yeah. Look That's at this a thing. gallon. I got the gallon too. Look at this fucking this thing. thing. Is huge. Crazy shit, man. All right, listen. Are you going to, so you got one. So tell your buddies that you can use code RBP at Ice Shaker and get 20% off their order. 20% off, baby. Yeah. Are you going to, are you going to tell them? I'm going to tell them every single one. what's up man how are you i'm looking at motorcycle stuff but how much weight have you lost you look small all of the all of the weight there is zero left of the former bodybuilder ben no you're still like 260 uh oh no i snuck under this morning you're right now i was 258 this morning i I think it's the beanie that makes you look slimmer is it is it do you mean the the pencil arm the noodle arms (laughs) isn't that the worst my (laughs) arms like this is like the real legs and the real small chest the small limb podcast oh wait no i still i still have i still have some traps you have some shoulders and traps left (laughs) Well, I'll tell you what, I'm on that. Uh, go on. Oh, I was yeah, going to say, yeah. it's a good thing we have Justin now because now we have a bodybuilder here. Well, since we hung out with Justin, he must have like infected, infected us with some kind of. For some reason, I don't have audio. Can you guys hear me? No. You don't, need, you don't need to hear you. Don't worry. Yeah, he fucking infected us and now we're shrinking. Justin gave us what he's got, which is AIDS, and now we have no muscle left. Now we're all 250. <laughs> <laughs> we're fucked. It's a 250 podcast. We're all stuck at 250 forever because of fucking Justin. Why does he have extra light bright on his extra light, extra bright light on his face? What's that about? I don't know. I don't know. Do you reckon Justin would be 260 if he had all these fingers? <laughs> don't start that. <laughs> he can't hear you. That's he didn't hear. He didn't hear. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's worse. Yes. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> Why is he worse? Because if he that, doesn't know about if he doesn't know about it, he can't get offended. But then he's you're saying it behind his back, then he won't know about it. He can't get his stuff, can he? <laughs> I do that all the time. I'm in my own house, I can just slag people off as I want. He can, I think he can hear you now. Don't say anything anymore. Are you talking about me, motherfucker? No. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Ben said that you infected us with whatever the fuck you got, and that's why we're both under 260 now. <laughs> the small guy disease <laughs> yeah. but i said we're lucky that you came on because i can still call it the real bodybuilding podcast because me and better oh, both have a real bodybuilder yeah me and better both tiny fucks now yeah that's good ben you look good though dude i told him the beanie uh, makes him I look good. I, I feel <laughs> the beanie. fuck off i was wearing the beanie when i was a fat cunt too and it's still making him fat yeah. yeah but now I actually it's, you know it's what your slim face so, yeah, your face is right. in size quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's noticeable. Like, I touch my head, and I'm like, oh, I can feel bone. Yeah, like, yeah. It's not just fat. I can. And That's my hands. Like, if I touch my hands, like, before, it'd be, like, saucy, like, like there. Yeah. But now I have, like, I can, f- like, they feel thinner. Everything feels Yeah, you, pull, you pulled all the growth. Now you can actually I was feel saying, you know what I was saying? You said on, the, on one of the podcasts a couple weeks ago, I think you are talking about banging and how much you can bang now that you're, like cycling 
I said it, I said it on the last spot. I, I noticed now after running for a little while, I'm like, I'm like a fucking porn star now. Like a- I'm a, I'm a ninja in bed. I'm like, <laughs> well, yes. tantric fucking moves and shit. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm still quite worthless. You're still just laying on your back. You're still <laughs> just laying on your back, trying yeah, not to I, move. I suck. <laughs> well, no, Justin, this is the good news because eventually you're going to have to retire, and your wife has all of that to look forward to. Yeah, eventually. So, right. So when I come down in size, and I actually can put forth some effort. You know what's funny, Justin? I'm really excited for you. Yeah. I think, I think because I am now retired, even though I still train and I can't seem to get under fucking 260. I'm yeah. Still, you know, I'm not, I'm not in the, in the shit like you are. And I like, right, I'm, I'm jealous of that. You know, can I, mean? I tell so, you why I've, can I tell you why I've dropped under 260? Because you're cycling. Yeah, but I haven't lifted a weight in. Th- oh, half, you like. stopped lifting altogether. That's right. You did? I, I did. I did a leg session with Denise the other week, or the other last week, and that's the only time I've lifted a weight in 18, 20 days now. Ben is, Justin, if you didn't know this about Ben already, he's the most extreme of the extreme people I know. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. There's extreme, and then there's like way the fuck over to the right, and that's Ben. This guy calls me and he's like, I'm going to do a cycling race. I'm like, okay. He's like, I have a plan. I'm going to stop working out altogether so I can win the cycling race. I'm like, what the fuck? You're actually doing it. Guy goes from squatting seven, eight plates to fucking, I'm not going to work out anymore so I can crush everybody in cycling. How long has it been since you actually trained? Like I said, I did legs last, I guess, Wednesday. I just seen then, And then I haven't trained. I've probably trained six times in the past month. Can I, can I say something about this, about why this is exciting for me to, to watch? Because I said this on the last podcast, and maybe you guys can, maybe Ben, you can add something to this. I, I know I love bodybuilding, but I think part of the reason I love it more is the competitive nature of it. And not competitive with other people, but seeing myself get better. Like Ian, Ian said it on the last, last podcast, just making yourself better. And I think, yeah. so go, I just, I was going to attribute that to kind of what you're doing with cycling. I, I love bodybuilding. Of all the things that I could do, it's the thing I love the most. Mm-hmm. But if I can't do it, I love progress. I love to push myself. Yeah. And if I can't push myself, like I'm in the gym, like you said, I was like, oh, I want to be like 230 pounds, right? In my ideal physique, like healthy, 225, 230 pounds. I'm 6'1", so that's not crazy heavy for anyone that's going to go yeah. still big. But if I go in the gym and I'm, a, I started like 280, so now I'm 260. I'm regressing. Yeah. And my brain goes, "Fuck this! This sucks." It's the opposite of what it. we're built to uh-huh. do. Yeah. Yeah. I can't push a set because the health parameters. Like, it's not like I, I retired because of my look, my kidneys, and everything else. But being heavy was a problem. So, and I, I, I got into things because I, I like lifting heavy and like challenging myself that way why well, i can't lift heavy anymore it just is not conducive to to what i'm doing but i can get on a bike and i'm a complete fucking beginner so yeah. every day right. i'm progressing that's how i feel about the running thing it's like my problem is i can't stop training like i i, I still want to train every day but yeah. that's kind of how i feel about the running thing is i suck so badly at it that every little bit is like feels good it's kind of like when you first start working out you try to bench a plate and you're like this is like way too fucking heavy and then all of a sudden you're benching three plates and you're like oh wow. it's, yeah it's beginner gains all over again yeah yeah but, yeah. but, but this is the thing i had the i love I, it kills me to not go in the gym and lift weights right I okay fucking, but, but and and his thing i took up i i got back on a bike to increase my cardio and drop weight and i was still trying to bike and lift right but but both were like okay, mediocre. Yeah. Both were like eh. Yeah. And then I went, okay, fuck it. I'm gonna do a 50k bike race in ju- the end of July. 50k. And I went, yeah. And I went, fuck it. Go all in on that. And I was like, well, I do believe in strength and conditioning, but I have more than enough strength to be a cyclist. What is a what is a normal right. bike race? Like what is a normal bike race? Like is is 50k average? Like I know a marathon is supposed to be 26 miles or some shit. Like is that? Is 50 Wait, dude, I, the, the, the event I'm doing, I chose the middle race. There's a 100K race. There's a 50 and a 25. And I'm like, okay, Why do you start with 25? 
Why do you start with 25? No. Fuck that. Fuck it. Go to Because I do, because I because I could cruise to 25 like tomorrow morning and doing it. I'm doing the 27 tomorrow morning. Yeah, but can so you I'm win? Like, can you win the 25? I don't know. I'm gonna try and win the 50. If I win the 50, I already knew I could win the 25. What? Well, this is what I mean. I don't understand. Ben, you're such a fucking my first, my first bodybuilding show, I did men's open. I didn't do novice. I didn't oh I didn't do, do novice either. We didn't have novice, but like yeah, okay. but, but why wouldn't you win the 25 and then you win the 50? Because Denise is my I'm trying to talk Denise into doing the 25 and I'll let her win that. <laughs> <laughs> is Denise gonna start running? Is, it, is she gonna start riding? I bought her a bike. We're going tomorrow morning. I know, but she's going with you. Yeah, she got to drive. I don't drive. I don't drive to my events. She's my chauffeur. Wait a minute. To my events. Wait. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, so you're not like so you're not like walking out the door, getting on a bike, and riding 25 kilometers. You're going to an actual like place to ride that that distance. The race is a fucking full on race. But it's not a race it's tomorrow. Cool. No, tomorrow we're just leaving home and we're doing a 20. Yeah, we're you're just gonna ride. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the, the the race itself, she's coming. And I'm like, well, why don't you do the 25? And rather than wait, stand and wait for me. Yeah, yeah. Does she Just, have any interest in it? Yeah. Does she? Yeah, she, she, likes actually... look at, she likes looking at my ass when I ride, so. Oh, yeah, who wouldn't? Justin, I got that. I got, you... those padded, I got those padded bike shorts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the maxi pad ones? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. like you shit yourself the whole time. Unless like you sat on the bike. <laughs> You know, that's the only reason I can't bike. I don't want to wear those shorts. I just don't want to wear the shorts that look like you're having a, a pad. I, I didn't want to until I did my first like, I know. 20K. And then I was like, yeah, give me those yeah. fucking shorts. Okay, yeah. Yeah. When I was rehabbing my leg after I broke it, I had to get some of those shorts. So I was, I was cycling a lot. Yeah. Justin, how do you feel about being on a podcast with two guys that don't work out? Oh, fuck. <laughs> it makes me feel pretty good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> You're the alpha now. Yeah, I'm the alpha. <laughs> you know, it's funny though. I I like that we can. I like that it's not one thing, and then you just sit on the couch and fucking get turned to a fat fuck. Like I like that, you know. Ben's decided to change from bodybuilding for whatever right. health health reasons, and I've decided to kind of retire because I'm older. And but it's not like we're just like ah, let's just sit on the couch and get no. Fat as, like we both found something else we can be like okay. You guys like are pivoting into something else that's healthy. You're able to allocate your energy into and progress. But it reminds me of something. Me and Ben had an argument or a debate or whatever you want to call it about what we would do if we retired. And Ben okay, was yeah. like, Ben was like, no, no, like, no, I meant like 65 and retired from all work. Oh, and gotcha. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, man, I can't wait because I'm just going to sit around and do fucking nothing. And Ben was like, no, you won't. You're you going to find say. something else. And I'm like, and I disagreed with him. And I'm like, you know what? I think he's right. I don't think I'll ever just sit and do nothing. Yeah, I think I was on that podcast. I remember that. I apply that to all of our arguments. <laughs> that's, not, that's, not, that's, not, that's not true. <laughs> I will die. I will go to my grave. I will go to my grave with the balance argument. You guys can suck it. I don't care. That one, I will never, I will never relinquish my belief in the balance argument. Ah. Wait, what you did though? No, I did not. Listen, when we were talking, we've spoken about Luke, and you and I, I can't go into exactly what we spoke about the other day, but we spoke about sometimes athletes need that little bit that makes them tick because if you try and screw them down too hard, it binds them up. Okay, it depends what you're talking about balance. If you're talking about balance within a framework of bodybuilding, I will give you that. If you're talking about balance in the scheme of life, eh. Uh Sorry, man, I can't do it. I can't. No, no, I that. understand that. But, but Paul, you know, it, you understand. Go on, sorry, Paul. What do you think? Oh. Are, you fro- are you frozen? Oh, he's frozen. Oh, he's for sure frozen. Fuck. I think he's he's got my my uh, your internet. Back. What happened with the light, Justin? What's with the light? You just did your wife tell you you look too dark, or like somebody say something, or no? There's a fucking there's a window right here. Last time everyone liked me in the kitchen better. Now I'm just in my oh, it's, it's like midday there. It's, it looks, it's still, like yeah. a music video. It looks like you're in a music video. Because of the lighting? Yeah. It's just like it's so bright. Like it's like you have a no, I like it. It looks good. Okay. I don't look too pale. Paul's gone. Oh, bye, Paul. <laughs> anyway, I think but ultimately the balance argument for me was just you can't do two like life-changing things at the same time. 
right like me trying to be in the gym a and cyclist bike, and, yeah yeah i went yes. fuck it i'm biking yeah like if i wanted to actually pursue marathon running which i don't i it's kind of like just a fun thing i'm doing right now but if i actually wanted to pursue it i would have to stop training and fucking like really like get I, I i do have a question and and it, it's about marathon running weirdly because denise and i were talking about this the other day <laughs> If I was there to sign up to a marathon, I don't think I would do much training for it because 26 miles is so horrific. I'd only want to do it one time. Yeah. Do you kind of know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I'll do like but a you 5K. Can't, but you can't do it the I'll one just time. Get good at, you can't do it the one time no, but you I, train for it. No but, no, but my philosophy is I would just do like 5K runs here and there. And then on the day, be like, I'm just going to deal with the bullshit. <laughs> like, I'm it. just going to suck it. Like, so you're going to have four it. hours of hell and then I'm <laughs> never doing it again. I had a buddy that because like yeah, I bet imagine it's the worst fucking thing ever. Oh, ter- terrible! You know you're gonna be here, here's killer. my other here's my other rationale behind it. I suck so bad at running, like anything longer than 100 meters. That even if I trained for a year, I'm still gonna suck on the day. No, so no, not as bad, <laughs> but I'll still suck. It's still gonna hurt. So. I can go a year of training and hating every minute of it to suck on the day, or I could just take it easy and it was still suck on the day anyway. So, yeah. No, I you got to train. I got to train. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? Well, that definitely has to train. Otherwise, he won't complete it. Oh, oh, fuck you. Who are you now, Mr. Fucking Athlete? Oh, I'm not a runner, but. I know you told me. Well, that I you know were. you're lightweight, so you probably go further right. than me. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm aerodynamic, right, Fuad? How much do you? <laughs> <laughs> How much do you weigh now? Are you over two sixty yet? Yeah, I've been like two sixty two ish. Oh, finally, we broke. Yeah, it. I know. Yeah, I broke through. Uh, Wait, that's quite a bit. The, the last time you were here, you were forty five. I was like, no, yes, yeah, like fifty something. Yeah, I was like right at two fifty. Oh, last time. Being, when, when he was at your house. When he yeah. was in the kitchen. No, he was like 52, yeah. I think. Yeah, I was like 252 with clothes on. Yeah. Paul, oh, what's going the, on, man? How are you? made fun of me. Hey, what? I got things going. What happened? I don't know. I, when I first logged on, I was getting that same thing as last week. But, you always uh, sound like a, like an air traffic controller with that thing on. Yeah, you like do. I like this. You want, to, you want me to put... How about if I put it down? No, no, no. Leave it up. No, no, no. I like, <laughs> I like it, too. Say something like an air traffic controller would say. Well, uh, how are you gentlemen doing? <laughs> we're, we're flying at 3,000 feet. That's not what they say. Don't say how you gentlemen do it. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, all my passengers? <laughs> hey, what you got? That's what I set up you got there, Justin. See, oh, I told you. you. He's got his light shining on his face, so he looks like... I don't even have a light. That's just a nat- There's a window right behind me. Oh, oh okay. natural right. sunlight. Yeah. Looks nice on you. I had a ring light somewhere. I don't know where the kids put it. I do have a light here, but it's just a little... might be a little much. Let's see if I can get this fucker on. Nah, never mind. I think you you're good. good. Yeah. So what's going on, Justin? Tell us about bodybuilding. Uh, bodybuilding is uh, you lift weights and eat food no, a, and take <laughs> take no. take what take what <laughs> take creatine. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell us what's going on, man. All right, you're two sixty two. Yeah. Why are you not doing a show? You could have won Toronto. <laughs> yeah, potentially. Well, potentially. I don't know. No, Siobhan looked awesome. Siobhan looked pretty amazing. Yeah. But yeah. you, you could have yeah. done really well. Yeah, could have. Yeah, I don't want to do good in a fucking stinker of a show. That's not. Right. <laughs> hey, you see what? A win, a win is a win. A win is a win, motherfucker. Nobody you know cares I mean? how you yeah. got the Olympics. Yeah. Nobody cares. It's, guy, it's guy, true. Guy will, t- guy will tell you the same thing. A win's a win. Yeah, money it pays That's the it. same. If you get to the Olympia and you play sixth, nobody cares if you won a shit show to get there. Right. Yeah. No, you're right. Right. So. No, you know, you know, I need the time. I'm small. No, I know. How uh <laughs> yeah, <like> I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he's not small, but no. compared to what he should be. Hey, yes, exactly. To yeah. what he will be. What he will be. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the one. Yeah, that's he will one. be. Yeah. Paul, are you coming to Madison, Wisconsin with us this weekend? No, I'm not who had. I wish I could, but it's just been there, too many weekends away. The recently. owner of the store requested that you come. Oh really? wow. The owner of the store messaged me and he said. I'm really excited for you guys to come. I'm like, that's great. He's like, uh, I'm like, we're gonna have some fun. He's like, is Paul coming? I said, I don't think so, man. I'm gonna ask him though. Are you just saying that because you want me to go? No, I'll show you the text. One second. Hey, don't Paul, don't agree because if if you do agree to come, 
my life is going to be hell because Denise is then going to have to scramble to book people's fucking flights. <laughs> no, no. I th- Fuad, Fuad's already stolen my wife from me. <laughs> One second. It's going, to, it's going to focus right there. I do see that. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you're going to disappoint all the people in Madison, uh, well, Madison two Wisconsin. Problems. Two problems. I've been away every weekend for the last five weeks and I got to work. Well, if we're not important to you, that's fine. I mean, your fans, if you're yeah. fan, if you're, you don't, you know, you don't care for your it fans. Is, this is work for me. It's still work. This is better work. Yeah. This <laughs> it's is like, more, I've got to work. I mean, this is this more fun work. work too. I know, but I know, but man, I, uh, this I is, don't... this is what we call building your brand. The more you go around, <laughs> then when we open a gym, everyone's like, that's Paul's gym. Yeah. If you don't build your brand and then, we, and then we open a gym, they're going to say that's Fuad's gym. All right. Let me work on it. Actually, Jeez. Is that actually a plan to open up? A yeah. Gym? Me and Paul want to open a, uh, we, yeah. like the same kind of gym I have now, but yeah, we want to open like a little bit bigger facility with the same feel. Right. Uh, that'd for be the, awesome. Uh, for, for public. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. That'd be yeah. cool. I want, I want to do the same in Texas, but you haven't spoken to me. Fuck you. No, I, well, <laughs> okay, wait a minute, we'll do a franchise before. Okay. I hate saying things on this podcast because I talk about dreams and people think it's going to happen like next week. Yeah. yeah this before. is like, this is like for future. And I want to do one in Texas too, but this is like future, future plans. Right. But, um, so this is what I was thinking. Tell me if I'm crazy. I thought about driving to Indianapolis because it's four hours from here to go to Nate Epler's gym on Thursday. Catch your oh. workout just to congratulate him on the gym. Yeah, of course. Catch your workout with Nate. You know, he's one of our athletes. He's a good guy. And uh, then leave there and drive to Madison. When is his grand opening? I don't know, but I know he's open. I don't know when his grand opening is. I thought he had a grand opening like the day we were doing this event. Oh, really? Let yeah. Sure. Yeah. I think it's this weekend, right? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, yeah. It's a, same, it's a Saturday, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah That's such a bummer. Would, I wish he would have like, yeah, I wish he, he should have orchestrated that. Well, you know what we could do guys, if you really wanted to, and I'm not saying we should, but we could always drive from what, what Madison to Indianapolis after the meet, after the meet and greet and train there. I mean, it's how far of a drive. It's a long fucking day. (laughs) Oh, yeah. it's, like, it's four That's hours. eight hours there and back because we've all got early eight flights. Hours there yeah, we can't do it. Uh, no, fuck like my, my, my flights are like 6 a.m. or something. No, like. I was literally thinking yeah. like I'd stop in on Thursday, check it out, maybe catch a workout, maybe not, just kind of congratulate him on the place. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I'm talking about or what I'm talking about, Nathan Epler is one of our athletes. He's a 212 animal who was at the Olympia last year. This is his no, he's the open class now, right? Oh. Mm-hmm. No, well... Yeah. yeah 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 he's doing he's he's transitioning into open he's trying what's the name of his gym Transition. he's transitioning from male to female <laughs> 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 no this is his gym it's uh this is like a video it's nice i like the colors he picked and i like the i like the open floor i like some of the the concrete and floor. yeah yeah, yeah. i like yeah. the concrete this oh, is kind of nice. what, it's kind of what I, i'd like my gym to yeah like. yeah I what's it called all metal plates and i know that people would uh, fucking bust up my concrete i think it's is called it? american muscle factory Okay, is that a franchise or that's his own? Like, no, no, private? it's his own. He just opened it by him and yeah, his wife. That's cool. Yeah, I'm really stoked for him. It turned out fucking awesome. Yeah, it looks nice. He's young too, I right? Just, I also just know how much hard work that is, man. Mm-hmm. You really worry about the floors? Um, yeah, I mean, Justin? I I did. I got all new flooring for mine. I I have rubber flooring. I noticed that, floor but I, I never considered that because in our gym, like in in the private gym, I got. It's all open floors, but I guess I never considered the public because I just yeah it was I, it's just, only me yeah, in there. Fine. Yeah, yeah. But no, people be dropping and busting up concrete for sure. I never yeah. considered yeah. that. So we probably have yeah. to have rubber all he the way through. Probably has like the rubber plates, like the I don't I don't know what he that's has. Well, he, he does. That's why I would do it. Yeah, yeah, he does. You can see rubber weights. Stuff. He's got the coated ones. Yep. Oh, no. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, they look they look cost. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. In that case, would you need to have rubber floors if you had rubber weights? No, no, that's what we're saying. No, you that's one or the other. <laughs> Paul. Dude, wow. that gym I don't know if you need both or what. A gym flooring is expensive as fuck, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why. Well, that's part of the reason why when we were when I was putting up my gym, I was like, you know what? I don't have to spend all this fucking money, man. I could put the rubber down in front of the dumbbells. Right. And put the rubber down on the squat rack and shit. Yep. And that was good enough. And then I also remember like training at a destination Dallas. And mm-hmm. they had only partial rubber and right. and Metro Metroflex Long Beach, 
Yeah, it and looks and badass. I like it. I, I like, like the, yeah. I, I like the look of it. So, yeah, Penny, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should I beach. should I just fly into uh, should I should I just fly into Madison or should I go to Indy first? Should I drive? Wow, that's up to you, man. You think eight hours is a long drive? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Really? Eh? Yeah, I think that's a motherfucker yep. of a drive. So <laughs> you have yep. like an event the next day, and yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna split it up, though. No, I won't have the event the next day, Justin, because. If I leave Thursday, I'll check oh, out. Oh, we're going on Saturday. And I'll go, I'll get to Madison Thursday night, and I'll sleep there. And I'll be there Friday morning. When you guys get Madison. there, I'll already be there. Okay. Are we? What are we training on Friday? Legs. Cycling. cycling. We're doing legs on Friday. <laughs> cycling. We're cycling. Me, me, and, ben and running. <laughs> cycling and running. <laughs> we're gonna run. We're, we're gonna do a five a five k yeah. run and then a twenty k bike yeah. run. We're gonna yeah. do a triathlon on Friday, <laughs> and then finish with a swim. And then we're gonna do calves. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I, 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 are we actually gonna do legs? Because I you know what I think that'd make a good video. No. <laughs> ride a bike. So uh, the, <laughs> ride a bike. Be really bike you mean? We're coming in. No, no it won't no, be boring. No. Are you kidding me? Wow. Listen, yeah. We'll that's be back. No, we're not gonna film the whole fucking thing. We just film clips of it. So what we should do is ride ten kilometers, run five, and then train legs. No. Oh fuck no! So fuck that'll actually no. you fucking no, pussies. I, I don't want to do that at all. Yeah, let, let's let's train back. Pussy let's back. How about yo? You're I'm just trying. To, you're just trying to keep me small. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want you to get succeed at all. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I signed you, so you just be shit forever. <laughs> what, what do you? There's, what do you say? I want to know what we're training because I'm gonna. Um, back, I usually train legs back. on Thursday. You want to train back? Because back on no. Friday for me. I just did you back. Did back. Didn't we are yeah. we are we are we getting content that day? I can set something up. If anybody out there is a videographer in Madison, Wisconsin, <laughs> <laughs> he's setting it up right now. Here, watch this. <laughs> anybody wants to film our workout that's actually a professional, DM me. Um because if we're gonna do that, we last time we met up, we trained legs and filmed legs. Yeah, we're gonna do legs again. <sighs> yeah. And I'm and I'm I gotta be up at like 2 30 in the morning to be at the airport by four. Actually, I can help oh, you with your back. That's a good suck. idea. In my flight, flight. <laughs> so like after traveling all day and then train legs, that's gonna be pretty. Short. I don't want to do like yeah, yeah, legs on the travel days. No, 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 it's good. I can help Justin with his back. Let's do a pump day. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how to train. I need you to tell I mean, me. I want to see. Maybe I can. Maybe I'll see something. No, that'd be great. I'm all for it. Yeah. No, I, I know you. I know you know what you're doing. It's just not working. <laughs> <laughs> it's i'm progressing that's gonna fucking hate me so much by the time like yep. by like the end of the no. month he's gonna be like fuck this guy. all my all my pretty resigned for nothing just keep signing the bone with that paycheck yeah you know fine. i have you seen that you seen that transformation photo i posted yesterday listen the reason i justin the reason i fuck with you is i think your physique is absolutely phenomenal Thank you. I appreciate it. And I do think you're going to dominate when you finally get on stage. So I am just being a complete it, asshole. It's not by, I know. Any I stretch. love it. Dude. I, know. I know. It's not by any stretch the truth. And just to prove it, I'm going to show everybody this transformation who hasn't seen it. If you don't follow Justin's page, Justin underscore Shire. And this is the transformation. Look at that. You already had, you know, it's funny. You already had arms. <laughs> yeah. I had biceps. Yeah, you did. I didn't really have triceps. Yeah. You didn't, your triceps are okay, but your fucking biceps You're are back. fucked. Your back has come so far. Like your biceps are the same size now. And I know they didn't improve at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were out of proportion back then. Yeah, no, but like were. your like your quads are good. Well, I wasn't a good. fucking yeah. I wasn't a fucking bodybuilder. I was just a guy who went to the gym and like you know. So arms. how many how many years is this working out? One or two or what? No, I mean that was that was so I broke my leg in 2014, I believe, and that's 2019. So that was like five years of training, but you know, not I, knowing what you're doing, just kind of yeah. Two around. years of it was like on, yeah. a year of it was on crutches, and but, it's like yeah. your, it's it's like everything got bigger, but your waist got smaller. Yeah, it does look small. <laughs> and I was trying to work out whether it was illusion or not, and I I don't think it is. I think compass wise, that probably is smaller. It, yeah, well, it's at least I don't I don't think, I don't know if it's grown at all. Maybe not. I don't know. It's definitely not grown. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that's, I love what I, bro, that's, that's what our progress picture is going to be like. <laughs> the, <laughs> <reverse>. <laughs> 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 the regression. But Fuck yeah, you, I, feel pretty, I feel pretty good about 
the progress I'm going to make in this yeah. year off that I take for sure. Where is my, you know what I, or I, as, found, that, as long as, as long as Fuera doesn't make you travel as much as he is only this sad. month, this month he's busy. And then he's done. This is a, the next six, eight weeks are fucking horrible, man. Yeah. He oh, called me. He called you're me still full of shit. Ben, you're going to have more fun than all of us. You're full of shit. <laughs> Ben, oh, you know, no, no, no. You know, you know, what actually sucks now. I used to love traveling. Now, because of Phoenix, it's like three days is like uh, a long. But he's coming. Long, yeah. But he's coming with us to Orlando. Yeah. Oh, well, we're going to Disney. I can't yeah. So you have to take him to Disney. Oh, you're you gonna have, hate Disney. Uh, so wait a minute. You have um, Madison this weekend in Wisconsin, and then you oh, have wait. Aries, and then so it's three Houston. weeks. Houston. Yeah. Wait, three wait, weeks. wait. No, Houston, then Orlando, and then. I might have to go to Portugal, yeah, for to look after a client out there, which okay. I want to do. It's a, it's a, yeah, it'll be a big show. So, anyway, all right. It's, well, it's a lot of travel. Uh, and then possibly Phoenix, um, the Phoenix Europa in August. What about uh, Olympia? Ooh. The Olympia we're going to be at, we'll have a hostile booth there. Yeah. And potentially an RBP booth. Oh, Ooh. yes. Yeah. So, yes. Paul, you can actually stand at the booth and sign autographs. Definitely going to that. All right. I love that. I love gonna, Vegas. Are you going to be there for sure? Can we? I promise you, I won't miss Vegas. Can, can we? Can we just get the RBP? RBP? Yeah. Booth. We'll get microphones, get massive speakers, and a bunch of shit. We'll just sit and do just our on talk the spot over podcast. Everybody. Just go fucking. Just talk over everybody. Yeah. We'll just yeah. Just doing all, yeah, and just just to see how many people. Just see if we can sh- <laughs> see if we can shut down the expo. Just see if we can get enough people. To, I think like, block, just block. Just block the walkways. Yeah. So that we can just talk. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, when they that nearly happened at the Arnold, right? You when they had the slap. Why? Oh, the slap fest. Or this, yeah, the slap boxing, whatever. So, the yeah, they blocked all the people trying to watch. It blocked all the walkways. So well, I'm like, oh shit. Who did that in the that? expo? Go ahead, Paul. Sorry. Was that was that in the expo stage? Paul, we watched the videos at lunch. Yeah, but we weren't there for it when it was live. It was where they were, it was where they were judging the uh, classic physique. Oh, yeah. Right, right there in the expo. Yeah. Paul, did you smoke a big fatty before you got on today? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, have you fucking sent him anything? It's your best client right there. I can't. Oh. Send, I yeah, can't. he can't send over the border for that. Come on. Come oh, on yeah. Right. No, he, he can't send him stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you are a border agent. So uh, that's true, too. <laughs> you so, you know, intercept the package. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I could find a way. Yeah. Wait, can you? Is it illegal to smoke weed? In Canada, no, 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 no it's, 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 okay. oh, there's okay. stores yeah. everywhere here. Right. I was yeah. gonna say because you're sat there as a border agent, being like, Yeah, I get a high as fuck. No, <laughs> yeah. no, there's stores everywhere here. Okay, Paul, what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about the weather. Uh, I don't know, but well, I don't want to talk oh, about the weather. Right how's, how's the I was in the pool, it's warm enough that I was in the pool. You were in the pool, how's the yeah. pool? Pardon, how is the pool? Uh, it's 82, it's nice. What do you guys think is the optimal temperature for a pool? 84. Paul, th- Paul, you said 85 of the day or 86. Well, yeah, anywhere in that range. I feel like it's too hot when it's really hot out and then ah. you have 85. Well, I got to admit, 82 felt pretty good tonight. Yeah. Because I think if it's I think too low, hot, low 80s. Yeah. I'm I don't sure. like getting in the water unless it's 90 degrees or warmer. I and like it, it when it's hot outside. Yeah. 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 And anything, oh. anything below like in the 70s is going to feel fucking cold when you jump in. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. But what Go would ahead, you say babe. it is out here today? Fuad, it's probably like 70 something out here today. Yeah, I don't know, 78, something like that. Go yeah, ahead, Ben. What were you going to say? It just reminded me, we're talking about water. We're the boat. In, that, in between the, the lake. Yeah. Because the lake yeah. started, we went in it, it started to get warm already, so the lake water's warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But te- I mean, Texas is brutal. Well, Texas, yeah. Fucking... I'm not swimming in you the are, water, though. You have a life jacket. We've got, uh, we've got life jackets. Are they big That's enough it. to... Well, I'm smaller now, so I yeah. can okay. You're not Jordan swimming. was no Jordan was here. Was, Jordan was here the other, last week and he's 280 and was wearing a life jacket. What kind of fucking fish and shit? Do you yeah, well, you there? got you got alligators and stuff there. No, it's <laughs> <in> Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. know what fish. You know, I'm laughing. I knew he was going there. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get anywhere there's alligators. No, I don't. I wouldn't live in a state that had alligators. Fuck that. It's a dinosaur. All right, yeah. so there's nothing, nothing we're safe than in the lake. I mean, you're safe from animals. You we have the jet, we have the jet skis yourself. too, right? We have the jet skis too, yeah. right? Oh. When are you and then, yeah, we got uh, we got one of those hot dogs as well, the inflatable hot dogs at the back. Oh, that's awesome. 
and we've got one of those uh, big rubber don't like two people, a two man donut you can hold on to. And you, oh, that's all right. Gonna be a when we're gonna have a f- like me and you, because we're not worried about getting injured now. Yeah, Justin, you gotta be careful. You're not allowed to do anything fun. I'll do whatever I want. Yeah. Oh, so, you know we did in your contract. You, know did, you can't. That's no, right. Yeah. I read that. You have to watch. You have to watch from the beach, Justin. Right, we can do, um, and they give me <laughs> binoculars. Those, yeah. We watch want those lily. We want those lily pads you can put out the back and you can race each other along it. Like run along. Oh, on perfect. Way. Perfect. We're gonna do it up. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're um. What is that? The twenty sixth. So what? Is, yeah. I was gonna say, what is the plan? You're talking about. You want me there on Monday? In Texas, Sunday's the twenty sixth. Sunday, yeah, Sunday, and so then me and Sam said, me and Sam said are driving back from Houston. Right, we'll pick you up at the airport in Dallas on the way to Ben's. Okay, and, and then, then we'll fly. No, we'll fly out. no, you got pick Samson. You got you got you're picking Samson and Justin off from the airport. Oh, Samson. that's right. Yeah, I'm driving by myself. Yeah, so I'm picking and you. And-, fly, and then we'll fly out to Orlando on that Wednesday. Wednesday night. Yeah. Wednesday night. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, Sorry, pool. So, Paul, uh, back to your back to your pool. You know, so, eighty four. Right hey, uh, well, right now, eighty two though. What else do you want to talk about? Uh, the show is yours today. Go ahead. How's the wife? Wife's good. She just got home from work. That's good. Did you no, pierce your nipples? <laughs> no, I haven't. Not yet. No, I. Uh, I'm trying to find a way to negotiate my way out of that. <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to find some something else I can do instead. I really don't want. When to you come, come, if you if you if you come to Stops Madison, you might think about it. Oh man! Oh, well, that's not a bad one. Really? I think days? we might think about it. <laughs> How many days? <laughs> it's uh, well, if I go on Thursday, it'll be Thursday to Sunday. If I go on Friday, it'll be Friday to Sunday. You know, my family might leave me if Their I leave another week. Nowhere. <sighs> They're not gonna find anybody as good as you. No, but Paul, 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 you. Paul, if she leaves, yes. if she leaves you, if she leaves you, you're getting pretty popular now on the podcast. So, yeah, no, you don't know. say that. <laughs> you got options. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Delete, delete for it. <laughs> Why I said it, you didn't go. Yeah, you're right. No. Yeah, I, was, no. I, I did something wrong there. I'm sure though. <laughs> <laughs> to delete that too. Yeah, I delete that too. It was the look on your fucking face, Paul. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. seen it. Uh, I, I can tell you agreed with him. Don't, don't add to it, you fucking idiot. <laughs> hey, you lit up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> uh, okay, Paul, go. We gotta cut all that out. Just go ahead. Yeah, yeah, sure. I hope you do. No, um, you don't. Well, I, if you cut that out, please save it somewhere else. For yeah, when we're right, old yeah. And, for, when we're uh, old and we can just look back. Yeah, for ten years now, for for members only. All right, Paul, go ahead. The show's yours. What do you want to talk about? Uh, there was a lot going on right now. <laughs> I, I just judged Toronto Pro. <laughs> okay, how'd that go? That was great. Yeah. Uh, well, as you know, Moshe Band won. He was uh, he looked great. Yeah. Um, because Justin said he Justin said he would have won it if he just turned up. Yeah, yeah I would have won. Yeah, mm-hmm. it would have been a good battle. I would have liked to have judged that. <laughs> I wouldn't. I didn't say that. These guys. Um, <laughs> what did Mo, What do you think Mo weighed? Do you know? Does anybody know? No, they didn't weigh in the pros. No, I know. I, mean, someone... I know they don't weigh them in. But I mean, looking at them, looking at him, what do you think? Two fifty. 245. Uh, he's, he's not he's not that tall, eh? He's shorter. Yeah, than I know. Me. That's why I said 240, 250 is somewhere in there. Uh, there's a lot. I would, there's a lot of quad there. Yeah. There's a lot of quad yeah. there. I, if I had to guess, I would have said 245 ish. Yeah. 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 240, 245. It's tough with guys with big quads though, because it can be deceiving. For sure. Yeah. Because anytime somebody has massive quads like that, they always weigh more than you expect. You know right. who's a big yeah, dude? That's what I mean. Who? You know who's a big guy? Dorian Haywood. Yeah. He's a big he just, dude. It's, it's the thing about Dorian is a big guy, but he just lagging in some areas you know oh uh, yeah i agree quads can yeah, be a little I, bigger stuff like that. that that that's my main thing for where there's a squad well, how did, but what just, happened to joe seaman why did he somebody said uh, he i didn't see it joe's off for sure was he um i i saw joe guest post two weeks ago at a show that i judge and um to be honest uh I, at that point too i thought you know if he's doing a show in a couple of weeks he needs to sharpen Should have been a little sharper. bit yeah. yeah and he uh he just was a little bit off but that's really strange because last year he was really shredded wasn't he yeah so so yeah Joe when Seaman. you say off, yeah, sorry. When you say off, I'm ent- I'm interpreting what you're saying as he wasn't ready, not he was off. No, I think um, that means he was still still too soft. That's what yeah. I mean. So yeah, he, okay. Because yeah. when, when someone says off, I'm like, oh, they missed their peak. Like they could have been right. fuller or whatever. Yeah. You're saying he was behind. He just did hit his peak. Yeah, still like carrying, still carrying too year. much body fat. Is that what you mean? 
Yeah, not yeah. not quite. Dry. Yeah, I think there was still some body fat. I guess we should. Enough. I guess we should take one minute to explain that to people, just because sometimes people don't understand the terminology we use. So that's why. Yeah, I think it's a good point, Ben. So, yeah. I guess being off can mean two things, and some people use it synonymously with two different things. So being off could be you still have too much body fat on your body, and it's not a matter of peaking right; it's a matter of you didn't finish your diet hard enough or get low enough body fat. See, like Ben was saying, I would call. I would say not ready. In that no, or, yeah. or a lot of people, not, a lot of people say not they're not in shape. Right? Sure. Yeah. 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 Right. I'm just saying it. I'm, I'm just saying sometimes somebody could hear off. Like Paul, yeah, he just yeah. meant it as a body fat thing. I right. meant it like, yeah. 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 And sometimes people say off and they mean it as well. He didn't carb load enough or he carb load too much or yeah. he didn't get the water manipulation right. Or I don't know, Ben, if you want to add anything else to those two things, or is it a better way for people to say it? I would just say a difference between body fat and peaking, right? Yeah. He missed right. his peak. That's what Peak, I mean by peaking yeah. me and carb loading and he, he misses peak thing. means yeah yeah the, the finer like dry the drying out process versus body fat yeah, you, yeah, yeah you can have someone that isn't you can have someone that's just mistimed when they dry out right. versus somebody who's mistimed the diet yeah yeah right. or a combination so of, of both well more so mistimed the diet i think one yeah. of the things i noticed on the podcast is we talk about bodybuilding in terms that we all know but some of the general public doesn't know yeah so i think i, forget I think too. when we can remember we should try and explain what we mean when say we say someone's full or someone's flat or someone's whatever terminology we're going to use. So just let's yeah. try and pick that out. Anyway, mm -hmm. go on, yeah. Paul. So, but yeah, but Joe's a big, impressive guy, you know, and I like his physique. I just, um, a lot of muscle. yeah, I, um, it, but he's got, like, he's one of those guys where he's so big and thick in certain areas that he's striated no matter what, like mm -hmm. his quads are always striated, yeah. you know, um, but where he missed it was like in his, in his back, his hamstrings, his glutes, those areas a little bit. Well, um, if I correct me if I'm wrong, but Joe's also the guy, a guy with not the smallest waist. It's not right. distend, it's not distended, but he's just a little bit it's blockier. Wide. So if yeah. he's not if he's not like 100 percent peeled, it doesn't help him. Yeah, right, for sure. Yeah, he just went, yeah, yeah. yeah he, so like I, I, you know, I'm sure he's got another show or two in mind though. So he'll so show sure. So Muzi was third. Uh, Theo was second. Muzi was second in the morning, yeah. and then um, and then uh, Theo dried up a little bit at night, and uh, it was enough so that he. Uh, he, he ended up in second. So explain end. to people how that happens. So you guys are judging. You're sitting there with Tyler Mannion, his head judging, Gary Udit. Yeah. Some of the other Canadian judges were there, like uh, Rudy and Rudy. Uh, was Tammy, Tammy there too? Tammy, um, yeah. Kieran. So you guys and, are sitting um, there in the morning and you're judging and you see Muzi second. S Bill Sabil, Bill Sabil too, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Um, anyways, yeah, sorry. Uh, so we judge in the morning and then in the, in the, in the evening, we do the confirmation round. So you rejudge basically. So was and it that it was, was it that close in the morning that it was just a matter of it was close. Yeah. It was close. Tyler liked Theo and we we looked longer and longer and he asked our opinions, you know, what we thought. And a couple of us were leaning, I know myself and Rudy particularly were were leaning towards uh Muzi in the morning. Yeah. And Tyler kind of agreed. Uh Tyler did agree, but he was um but he wanted to work Theo a little bit. He wanted to see if he could work Theo and see if he could dry up a little bit. And um, not not just Theo particularly, but the whole guy. He wanted to work him a little bit. You know, he, yeah. I think he likes to do that. I think it's something that he probably, um, you know, has learned over the years from watching Steve and that, uh, which I love. I think it's a great way. I think to, it's a great idea too. Yeah. 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 So and uh, and as as he worked him, you know, Theo dried up enough that he came back in the night with enough to to beat uh, to beat Muzi, but it was really close. So it's interesting to hear that from like behind the table, right? Because a lot of people don't know how the judges do this. Mm -hmm. So so Tyler, Paul, explain how it works. The head judge calls out who he wants, right? Yeah, and then what happens? Guys, and what happens after that? And well, and, and the other judges will give their um, their uh, like their uh, their preferences too for callouts, and we'll discuss it too. You know, and he'll ask, you know, what are you guys looking at? What do you got? Who do you guys have right now? Do you have Muzi or do you have Theo? You know, and why? You mm -hmm. know, and we explain that in the morning for Mo for me it was because Muzi was drier from the back. Yeah, in the morning. Yeah, um, enough that I felt like uh, everything else was pretty close. The front and side poses, but from the back, Muzi was much, was pretty drier, sure. uh, quite a bit drier. But yeah. but Theo was able to reverse that as a pose, and I, when he came back at night, he was fuller yeah. and drier. And so, uh, where Muzi stayed the same, I think. So can I ask you this question? So you guys all mark your scores for prejudging, right? But it can't be that much of a discussion because it's happening in real time. So you guys are kind of discussing, but you're kind of making it happen at the same time. Yeah. So after prejudging, when all the scores are in. Is there more discussion that happens at lunch or is it kind of like that's your scores and you're not going to talk again until the night? 
Uh, no, oftentimes we'll talk about it. Yeah, I, like, I think we should talk about it. You know, so you guys sit it. You guys will sit it down at lunch and, and go over everything again. Yeah, typically. Yeah, I mean, depends. Okay. It's 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 dep- it depends to how much time we have between shows. You know, sometimes right. you don't have a lot of time. Um, but yeah, we always talk about things, and even after a class is done, we'll continue to talk about it. Is there a lot of sway that happens at that point, or is usually the head judge like pretty certain about what he wants? Well, the head judge is, you know. Um, you know, he's definitely uh, the guy who um, he makes a final decision, you know, whatever yeah. the head judge in the end says, you know, is, yeah. you know, he'll make that final decision. Um, and that's respected by the other judges. Um, but, uh, but, but, you know, but, but a discussion is, 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 is definitely there and it's a consensus that's come up with. It's not just, you know, yeah, yeah. it's not just his choice. No, yeah, it's yeah. definitely a consensus that's discussed and, you know, debated and whatnot for a while. Have you Especially ever when it's that close. You... Sorry, go ahead, Ben. I don't know. I... Do you think that's right? Because I don't, I can't think of any other sport yeah. where it's judged, where the judges they all have to sit in their box and give their opinion at the time. They don't get to go away and discuss and then come back and go again. So not that I can think of anyway. So oh, so you me mean I'm like wrong. So I'm not saying like, that will change your decision now. Basically. No, no, no. I, I, I know, but but say that the UFC right, they have judges to score fight in between rounds. They're not allowed. To, they don't talk to each other, and then they submit their scorecards, and then it gets averaged out, and that's the winner. So I think what Ben means also is like if you think of figure skating, they'll right, watch yeah. the watch, and then they'll go nine point eight, nine point five, and they all just give their score, right? Mm-hmm. So right. bodybuilding is not like that. It's more of a cumulative, mm. a, a cumulative right. judging, so which I think is kind of know? good. Well, I well, think so too. I guess I guess because it's what I, I hate the pad the word pageant, but in a it's sport objective. where so so in a sport where it is more like that, like a pageant where all the judges are viewing in real time, is that then similar to what we do in bodybuilding? Then, do you, Very much. like how do they how do they Very how much. they can yeah of course do they, like, they, they like so. Olymp- Olymp- Olympic sports is just like here's my score a judge. Yeah, right. but it's not, it's very rarely I can think where the athletes are competing at the same time, right? If, if a gymnast is doing their routine, they score it, next one comes on. Yeah. Whereas body, bodybuilders and like in a well, pageant or something like that, they're compared directly next to each other. There's an either, easy way to figure that out. When they do, I don't know if you know this, Paul, because you haven't judged Arnold yet, but did you test judge Arnold one year? No, I yet. Not yet. Okay, so at the Arnold where they judge the posing routine, do you know if they still cumulatively discuss or is there a score on the posing routine? Because it's individual. Um, I don't know. I I I, I know. The, I believe it's the Olympian. I might do it at the Arnold too. I think the boxes are put, uh, the judges are put in separate boxes. Yeah, their own individual boxes. Yeah. So in that case, I've seen you know, that where be. they where they have a barrier. Yeah, they go. Them. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I've but I've never judged a show like that, so I, I can't speak of it. I but, don't think um, I, ha- I don't think I have an issue with the cumulative judging. I think it's the best way to make it. Everybody kind of has it's some like input. a jury, you know. Right. Yeah. Right. I, in my opinion, it's the best way to come up with a the decision for for something that is you know as objective as the sport i mean i mean i do see ben's point as well though because then you have zero influence the head judge like, does like have if the somebody influence, like if what's that the head judge does have that influence no no no. Though, i know but that's my point so ben's saying like if you guys were all in a box yeah. and you're watching and you thought joe seaman was the winner nobody could influence you you just say joe seaman's first yeah right. whereas if it's cumulative you say, I think Joe Seaman's first, and then three other people go, Oh, I see. Nah, I don't think so. Then you're okay, I get that point and, because and, you can be swayed. And, you can be swayed. Yeah. And then if, okay, if I understand that. I'm not saying it would happen, but say you had two other judges and they were in favor of somebody else and you got on with them and liked them, there's yeah. going to be some bias where you're like, Ah, I can Yeah, no, you're that. right. That's, that's, human, that's human nature. You're right. But, that's definitely yeah. true. But, 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 but in my opinion, though, if judges have integrity and not just integrity, like it's not a, a, an issue of, you know, of being honest or whatever, or, you know, being unbiased, but it's more like, but yeah, and we yeah. learn from each other, right? Like it's because it's like, it's one of those things where you learn from each other. Like, I, you know, maybe there is I, something that I'm missing that I should be looking I, at more. In a, in a, I, I'm saying, I'm saying, I can say arguments for both. both I think yeah, both, yeah definitely. both ways You're right. uh, work, to, depending on how you look at it. But there's, right. there's, think, flaws, there's also flaws to both, right? Right. I think when you have, so, Paul, I'm going to talk about you. You're not here for a second. Yeah. Paul's very, very uh, serious about his judging. Like people think it's a one-off. Like, oh, he's judging an amateur show. Big deal. Paul's like, I've said to him before, hey, I'm coaching that guy. Give him a, make sure he wins. Paul's like, fuck you. Get out of here. <laughs> so, like, he's I, just hope, I hope Paul judges my pro debut. That's he's going to judge honored, you hard. Too, he's going to judge you hard. No, but <laughs> the, point I'm trying to make, the point I'm trying to make is not just to blow smoke up Paul's ass. The point is, if every judge is judging with that type of integrity, 
then it's okay that it's cumulative because no one's being swayed. They all have a right. valid point to bring to the table. Right. But I think if, when you have, if you have like a, maybe not as strong a judge, maybe then, yes. ben, maybe then Ben's point comes into to effect. Right. right. You, you might have somebody that you might have two coaches, uh, judges that have different opinions and they both have valid points, but one might not be very good at persuasively conveying that. And then the other guy is selling but, his guy to the head judge. But can I make a point about yeah. that, Ben? I just because I there's one thing I've actually noticed in real life, and I'm not going to mention any names, but some judges are weaker than other judges in spotting sure. certain spotting certain things. For sure. So mm. you would have somebody judging a show and picking somebody that didn't really have a they don't really belong in the place they're placing them. Right. So it's almost better that they work together so that they can find the most common ground. Mm. Right, and also right. something that something that should be uh, something that people should should understand too: the high and low score for everybody's removed. Yeah, so that you're taking away those, uh, you know, what good you or want to call yeah. it like, yeah. the any extremes favor, on both any sides. favoritism or any yeah. flaws. Yeah, right. So yeah. it kind of narrows but, down, so you're getting the consensus still, kind of, you know. But yeah. that, um, that is why I like what you're saying, like with the democracy vote, almost. Right. Because right. you're right. You're right. You have some people that can that favor condition, and you got other people, right. other guys that favor size. And right. Oh, and I think, it's, and, it's, and it's important. And that's why it's important for an organization to have good, experienced judges that can mentor other judges. Yeah. It's really important. I just, I just t- test judge a, a judge out in Alberta a couple weeks ago, and he was really good. But uh, I always try to give them the, um, like the example of like for bodybuilding. That's what I know best. Like when you're looking at a back pose, for example, don't just look at someone with shredded glutes and that wow factor that comes with that. And be like, okay, he wins a back pose, yeah. even though he may be lacking lat development, he might be lacking hamstring development, where somebody else might be fully developed in those areas, but might be softer from the back. But it doesn't have, so you may have not have that same wow factor on stage for those poses. So I try, you know, I think that's. I, for me, it's a good example to use for young judges, you know, so well, to look at the whole package. And that's a good point. Cause like that goes along with the whole democracy of, and the whole teamwork of it is Paul's been judging for 20 years and some of these judges are, are brand new. So they're not going to have the same eye for, for, right. for picking apart one guy or the other guy. So right. it might be better if Paul's helping them say, yeah. Hey, you know, this is what I see. Maybe that's, is that what you see too? Right. And I've been lucky to have some pretty good mentors in Canada, like, you know, like Rudy Jambrosic, you know, Rudy's an amazing judge. I know I learned everything from Rudy and, uh, and Ron Hache, our president, like Ron's been judging with Jim Mannion, you know, back in the day they were judging together. Like they're, these guys are legends in our sport. So I've learned from two of the best. So you're going to, you're talking to me today. You want to bring up a new disease that you found. Yeah. Uh, cholera. What is cholera, Paul? I don't know. Let's look it up. <laughs> how, do you, how, do you, how do you spell it? What? Uh, C H O L E R A. Okay, this is what I. Go- oh wait, C H O L E R A. Uh, yeah. Hey, is Justin frozen for you? Is he just that still? No, he's frozen. He's frozen. So this is what I got. Cholera uh, is an acute diarrheal, diarrheal Ill- illness caused by infection. Maybe you got that right now, Fuad. You've had the you've had the runs today. <laughs> I don't. Have <laughs> <run>. <laughs> yeah, you have. No, I said I had to shit during our workout. I didn't say I had diarrhea. But then when, before the podcast, you text me, said you're stuck on a toilet. Well, I got the same text. <laughs> <laughs> cut, delete. I got to cut this out. <laughs> I had it yesterday. It's okay. It only lasts one day, Calera. What happened? To, it only lasts, Calera only lasts one day. <laughs> yeah. 24-hour Calera. So what is this? So it's just diarrhea. Yeah. It's basically diarrhea. So they're trying to scare people with diarrhea and a cold. Yeah. I get that out frequently. Yeah. Maybe Maybe I have chronic about? Calera. All right. Well, what else do you want to talk about? It's your show today. Uh, you want to talk about the Toronto Pro anymore? I was really impressed with the 212 guy too. Who's that? I don't know his name. Um, he's from BC though, apparently. Um, I never heard of him before. And it's weird. Really you know, about it if you don't know anything about it. Well, you have to look it up too, because it's like an Iranian name, I think. All right. Let me look it up. Instagram. We'll go to Bodybuilders of the Borders and see if it comes Am I good? Up. I'm back. Yeah, you're yep. back. What happened? You're back. You? I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, so this was the classic guy that won. No, he didn't win. Oh, he was second. Sorry, I yeah, thought he had a Tyler, great. I thought he had a great physique, though. He did. Just uh, back was a little bit underdeveloped. But Tyler Johnston won. Tyler looked great. Tyler's from Ontario. This is a beautiful physique, though. He man. looks I'm great. Not, not taking anything yeah. away from Tyler, but yeah, I could. He's a little soft. He can be a little hot. Yeah, yeah, hot yeah. Tyler was Tyler was shredded. <laughs> Tyler always gets shredded, though. No. No, yeah, definitely. Tyler's always known for it. So yeah, I'm, he is. I'm looking for a 212 shot here. There's Mo Shaban. Yeah, we're talking Mo. about him. That's a great physique, eh? Yeah. yeah nice guy, too. Mm-hmm. You know him, Fuad? You know him at all? I had him on the podcast. Very nice guy. Did you? Yeah, very nice guy. He hugged me a few times. He's, he's <laughs> a lucky guy. I like him a lot. That's an, that's an Arab thing. Arabs like yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 
Cody was a friend of ours. Took third. Cody turned third in his uh, debut. Debut. That's pretty good. Congratulations, Cody. Yeah. Um, Who? Where is the two twelve guys? There's Theo. Theo. Yeah, I like Theo's physique. You know, I do too. But like we talked about earlier, Paul, I think the long torso hurts him from the back. Yep. Yeah. When he turns to the back, his his back is a little long, and that's but it it helps him from the front because you see here, like the structure looks really nice because it's got a long long narrow waist. Yeah, yeah, but, for sure. There's but, Muzi looks good in that shot, eh? You know what I'm shocked about, yeah, Paul? Is there's hey. no no really good pictures from the Toronto show. No? No, I mean, saw. I guess it doesn't look like any professional photos, really. Like uh, this is, Muscle Insider might have This some. is somebody's, like, here, look, this is uh, yeah. Ian's buddy took this photo. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, Julian. Julian's a good guy, yeah. 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 Um, okay. Oh, there's Tyler. We'll show him real quick. This guy, Tyler won the classic. Yeah. Tyler looks good. I don't think he needs to put the foot out like that, though. No. Yeah. He looks, he looks like he has big enough quads to just stand. I mean, I guess I think, it's more classic, I th- right? Exactly. I Is think he's though? trying to put a classic twist on the pose. Yeah. It's fucking, his quads are great there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. This looks like it's been doctored. I think it's also so, a weird angle for the shot. Like, I'm sure if you took a picture of that straight on. With uh, yeah. Mm. yeah, that picture quality doesn't look right. Yeah, yeah you're right. A, you're right. Yeah, something's up. It's like somebody put a filter on it or something. Yeah. Um, I still don't know where, who's this guy. Now, some of these guys coming. There's a guy from Brazil I seen that recently that looks phenomenal. Is it this guy? No. Uh-huh. This guy looks good too, though. But it's not that. Yeah. Guy. There's another guy. Well, you you mean, guy, you mean classic guy. or this guy? Oh. Hmm. Gabriel. Yeah. I don't know if he's. He looks like a bodybuilder to me, but you never know yeah. anymore. Yeah. Hey, if, if we're doing if we're doing that, then you go look Dean up, right? If you wow. okay, we'll go. Okay, we'll look up Dean. I just want to show. Well, yeah, he's probably in here somewhere, but I just want to see if we can find a two twelve, the two twelve winner. Uh, keep going down. There's the yeah. open guys. This oh, right there, Fuad. Yeah, yeah. This is the Iranian guy. Yeah, that's not the best shot of him there, but uh, he was impressive. He was big and thick. Really thick, back. Yeah. thick. Fucking yeah. Legs, eh? Look Ooh. at that. Look at his back. Look at his back too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was impressive. He's Canadian, apparently. This... I've never heard of him. Do you know what the, the weird thing about all these pictures? It looks like they've got no glaze on. Yeah, I know. I feel you know what I mean? Like they were oh, look at that. super dry. Yeah, that's a, that's a good shot there for him, too. Eh? Yeah, this guy, who's yeah, this guy? Yeah, yeah. This guy looks good. There's a couple Korean guys that were pretty good. That guy's uh, what's I forget his last name right now. He's the guy's like 53 years old. This guy, yeah, oh, shit. Fucking oh, Asian. Killer. A- Asian people never get old, eh? Yeah. Look, he's, how come this guy didn't win? I think you fucked up the judge. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, he turns around, he was off in the back. Oh, that's this is the Iranian guy. This is him, yeah. Oh shit, Jeez. this guy, yeah. Iranian. L- literally, looks like he's cut from stone. <laughs> yeah, I know. He was impressive. <laughs> you say Arab What's his name for it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, What's his name for it? I don't Hussein know. Kalati. Hossein Kalati. Okay. Oops. Don't go there. It's almost that'll be Pornhub. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to go. I want to find this guy's fucking <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> Okay, so that's these two, and then it must be Kim Juno. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, this guy, Kim Juno. Yeah, name? look at the quads. Fuck. Jeez. Yeah, Korean Asian guys always have great quads. I was gonna say yeah, Asian, Asian guys. Quads, yeah, except, except for Ben. <laughs> oh, I was oh, look at everything. Like his back looks good here. Too. Look at the fucking legs on this guy. Yeah, crazy. Oh. Eh? There's a lot of good Korean bodybuilders. Do you think they have better drugs over there? Maybe. Look at that. <laughs> see the see the from the side there, Fuad. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> it's the drugs, man. Yeah, I'm just asking. <laughs> I be. didn't say that was why. I just <laughs> I feel like because they want to win at all costs, so they're like, just give them. All is, drugs. is that that thing when is that that stupid thing when O2 came out, uh, Oxygen came out, and they were like, oh, they're doing so much secret with their drugs. No, the reason I thought <laughs> about it because if you think about the Olympics. China. China wants to destroy the Olympics. They're probably giving all their athletes steroids. So I thought maybe they want to dominate bodybuilding too. So they're like the government's giving them all. I think yeah, the Russia the, does that. All the good juice. No, but China's yeah, doing Russia, that Russia too. Yeah, they're all doing it. The U.S. has been doing it. Well, U.S. started it. Yeah. Or maybe Russia. Started I know the Germans it. started it, didn't they? Was it yeah. the Germans? 
Yeah, I think the Germans, 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 are, I think Germans, Germans and Russians. Yeah, they, they yeah. were doing super soldiers in World yeah. War One. Germans yeah. were doing fucking meth. No, but the Germans were doing uh, meth. It wasn't steroids. It was wasn't meth. the story. They were also on steroids. No, they made, yeah, they made not, steroids like, for them. Like, yeah. there's, there are, I, can't, I can't remember which steroid it is now. First there's a few people out there that, to add them on Tren and meth. I said they did not. Uh, <laughs> it made the us. Those the savages. Soviet, the this, Soviet used to give their uh, this their is Russian guys DMP, DMP in the cold. Testosterone really? was first synthesized in Germany in 1935 and was used medically to treat depression. Professional athletes began misusing anabolic, well, misusing. Misusing. Is, I think it's, it's proper, using proper, it correctly. Properly using it. Depends on who you're asking. <laughs> Professional athletes were properly using it finally. Yeah. In, 1950, <laughs> in the 1954 Olympics when Russian weightlifters were given testosterone. Yeah, so in 1935 Americans. in Germany. So that's why their soldiers were going forever because they were on fucking test and meth. So the story was, I thought that the Americans found out that they were doping over there, so they sent their own scientists over there to to whatever figure out what they were doing, and that's what that's how D ball was created. One second, I gotta verify. Look it up. Story. Look it up, who yeah. <laughs> I've heard, I've said similar, uh, heard similar things. Yeah, with other compounds. I can't you always got to verify with Paul, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm always i'm always almost right like i have like the basics wait a minute right. you're almost always right like when you always say, almost like when you yeah. say never <laughs> wait a minute I'm never exactly i'm, I'm always like, wrong but i'm almost <laughs> like like part of my story has some validity to it <laughs> it's like when you said when you shoot a load it comes out of one nut and you shoot another load it comes out of the other nut <laughs> there was some there was some, some well, there's no that. merit to that at all there's that means you only you have know. two loads and you're it, fucking it, i think we left that on, on, on uh, it's not a shotgun <laughs> all right let's see how right paul is how was d ball created oops all right not ebola Get rid of that. <laughs> ebola uh, d ball was first described in 1955 it was synthesized by researchers in the ciba laboratories of basel switzerland you're totally wrong paul <laughs> was, okay go to why was d ball invented no, it's right there. Just yeah, it just said for burn victims. Right here. Yeah. D-ball is an anabolic steroid generally developed by John Ziegler, was released in the U.S. in 1958 by SIBA. It was used to aid in muscle growth by bodybuilders until it's banned by the FDA under the Controlled Substance Act. Oh, so it was originally developed by John Ziegler. Who's John Ziegler? That's the American scientist that gave it to the athletes. Ziegler. It is. That's it is, actually. Nice. It is, actually. That, Paul's right about that. John Ziegler and Montana Jack was the American physician who was who originally developed the anabolic steroid D-ball, which was released in the USA in 1958. Huh. That was right. You were a quarter right, like you said. See, I told you. <laughs> Everything's well, got a little truth to it. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost always. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's uh let's do some questions. Um, what's the most fucked up thing you've ever done? That's a very broad oh, question. Christ. Yeah, but a lot of stupid things. What's the most fucked up thing you've ever done? Pierce my nipples. You, you haven't did. done it yet. Well, thought about it. Yeah, <laughs> trying to trying to get out of it. Pierce my eyebrow. That's not fucked up. I pierce my eyebrow. <laughs> it's kind of normal. Wait, wait, wait. Everybody does that for a minute. Yeah. No, Are we I saying fucked up like physically or fucked up as in like that was bad? Both. Stupid. Anything. Because the most fucked up thing I've ever done is the motorbike crash, which fucked yeah, me. Yeah, but that's not, I think she means like stupid. Oh, the deepest, she, darkest fucking Is it she that asked this oh. question? Yeah, yeah. yeah tell us your deepest, darkest secret. Deepest, darkest secret. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. Um, I won't tell anyone. Oh, wait. Somebody fucking, I got to find, you guys got to talk amongst yourself for a second. <laughs> I gotta find this question. No, this is really, really good. Um, it's awkward now. This is uh, why we realized. Yeah, that yeah. Why? This is gonna be it's not natural. Well, Paul, ask me about the weather. Hurry. Yeah. So, Paul. Justin, how's uh, how's things down there on the farm? Uh, it's a little cloudy out. Actually, it's been kind of windy and stormy. What are you growing? Hey, right is now? your house? Is your house? No, wait, wait. wait. Are you, what's your house update? Have you started yet? Uh, we dug out our foundation. So, like the the house pad. <laughs> The fill that was from a house bed, I had to fucking dig it all out. So I had to dig the like off. Yeah, You're I had building. to dig like a 10 foot hole. And now we're we're building up the foundation. But yeah, we started. Nice. You're building like on a mountain, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I've got like a top of a mountain that's all leveled off and I'm building like a big Pablo. house. You're like Pablo. You're like yeah, Pablo exactly, Escobar. Exactly like Pablo. So you can see your enemies coming. 
Yep. <laughs> <laughs> exactly but yeah, we we started. <laughs> when's uh when when's the expense to finish? The Probably there. We're just kind of projecting twelve to eighteen months, just with how weird things are with COVID. Yeah. Yeah. So that's awesome, man. Yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah. You guys gonna have kids? You know, we I mean we have the house to facilitate it if it happens. You know, we don't have plans to have kids, but you know, it's not like completely off the table. So not planning. That's that. a no for right now. But no yeah. for right now. Yeah. How about you, Ben? You gonna have some more? We actually had this conversation when we drove back from Houston on Sunday. Oh wow. Um, yeah. Which is inconclusive because she's always been a hard no since we had Phoenix. And I'm very much on the whole give me another one of those little perfect things. Do you want a little girl? Do you want a girl or boy? I could, I know if I could choose, I'd want a boy, but I know that knowing that you can't control the love, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like right. It's just, yeah. I don't know why. I just so, like if I, if I had a, a kid, I would, I would want a little girl. Yeah. Yeah. In my opinion, kids De, need De, a sibling. De, De, Denise, De, well, I've got a stepson. He's like, oh, he's, that's right. Right. He's, he's at eight years older and he's great with him. Um, yeah. But I, I, for me, I'd like to just, it's a different kind of love, you know, when it's your yeah. child. Sure. Yeah. Um, I know Denise would hate. Her. She said she didn't want a girl. She's like, really? that's the risk. That's a risk. Really? For her, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. She's but, a tomboy. She's a proper tomboy. She's like, what the fuck can I teach her? I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Do you not remember what the question was at all? You guys are you guys are dying out there without me, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're drowning. Fucking help! Yeah. We're talking about like life, just boring life. Yeah. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. It's such a fucking good one too. You don't I read remember? it. I read it, and I'm like, I got to screenshot this, and then I didn't, and now I can't find it. Wait, wait, wait! They released the Arnold list. Have you guys discussed the Arnold yet? The no, UK what list? The UK? Oh, no, I, I saw the list. Yeah, pull the list up for the men's open. Let's have a little. I saw, um, um, Martin uh, Fitzwater on the list. Do an open? Oh, wait, fuck, wait, Troy, you didn't put up Dean. I'm telling you, Dean's going to be the next breakout 212 guy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I think he really is. That kid's fucking good. Okay, <laughs> Dean. And then we'll go to the UK Arnold list. Oh, first, right, first you have to look at this. Look at this fucking thing. Amazing. <laughs> okay, now we'll go to Dean. Who had texted a picture <laughs> of a bike the other day and was like, yeah, so check it out. I, I shaved my fender, uh, starts telling me all the things he did to his bike i'm looking at this picture i go bam Fuad, it fucking looks great he goes well that's not actually my bike i don't know why i was lying <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck we talked for like 10 minutes about this bike telling me all the things he did to it <laughs> i didn't say i did no i did not say that i said this is what my bike's gonna look like you didn't say that you I'm sent pretty- me a picture of a bike you're like hey i got my i got my fender cut and then you sent me a picture of a bike <laughs> we were on the phone at the time no yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, we were on a phone call. So. Like, I'm sorry. I'm no, so he didn't. So he didn't even like. He didn't even lie through a text or no, a message. Like, not true. Like, 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 right that's, to my face. That's worse. That's worse. Yeah. But he admitted. Wait. He was like, I don't know why I'm lying to you right now. No, wait a minute. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> that's exactly what he said. <laughs> At least he admitted it, though. Uh, I sent you the two bikes. Yeah. And then we were we were talking on the phone at the time. Oh, we were. Yeah, we were on the phone. And I said, that was my... No, I didn't. That's not yeah, you did. That's not what happened. You're <laughs> you not remember telling me? You're like, I don't know why I'm lying to you right now. <laughs> yeah, I think actually I do remember that now. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> this is Dean, the freak of freaks. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's fucking good. Look at that fucking shit. How tall is he? 5'5", uh, five, five, I believe. 5'5". Five, five. Five, 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 six. Six. There are degrees to genetics. It's not just... Yeah. I like when people say genetics is everything, but it's like, there's such a varied, like there's such a vast like difference between genetics, between like the top, top versus decent genetics versus like, I got to strive to get to the level. Like how how great mine are versus yours. Like (laughs) Justin's calves are top level and his back is like, okay. Exactly. exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Three out of 10. (laughs) You but started it, mother- you started it, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I know I asked for it. <laughs> no, but this seriously, this kid's got everything. Like, yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty fucking impressive. His side how, chest how, is just. How old is he, Ben? Uh, I believe he's twenty-seven. Jeez. Yeah, sure. that's a really, really impressive physique. I, I go to the the pictures that uh, they look edited, but they they they're not. He just sent them 
on wow. a different phone. They yeah, those ones. Yeah, these are from the other day. Oh, uh, wow. on sun on Sunday, he's two sixteen right there. He, he looks more impressive with these pictures. Yeah, these ones look a little bit more representative yeah. of how big yeah. he is. There, he's two hundred sixteen pounds. Yeah, that's fucking no. impressive, man. That side leg. Yeah. And he's still an amateur. Nuts. Is he? For now. For not now. for long. For now. Definitely. Yeah, definitely not for long. What shows is he doing to get his pro card at? We okay. are sealed to... to not, well, yeah, we don't know we're, yet. We're unconfirmed. Yeah, we, we haven't fully decided. And yeah, I don't think he's going to say anything when he does. Where is he from? He's a British guy. Where is that Arnold list? Wait, that it? That's classic physique. Is there bodybuilding in there somewhere? No. Is right. Arnold body right there for it. There we go. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of a small list for an Arnold man. Ten. No. Eleven. Twelve. Well, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, uh, James, Mark Hector, Lionel Becky. Oh, I'm, ex- I'm excited. Becky, eh? I haven't seen Becky in a couple years. Great though, but by the way, Kassan's recent pictures are very yeah. Good. I know looking good. better. I know they look very good. So when's I, uh, when's so the okay. last time Becky's been on stage? Well, this is why I'm like, if okay, you know what he was the, up? He was supposed to do the at Columbus, wasn't he? Was yeah. he? The, yeah, pro- he was. the problem, the problem with Lionel Becky is if he turns up in shape, he beats everybody. Yeah, <laughs> or potentially why, can for sure. Yeah, and that's why I hate like putting him in a placing because I'm like. I yeah, know, it's the same with I Hassan. Know. If Hassan shows up, fucking peeled to the bone. Yep. If, if everybody, if Hassan, if, if Hassan, yeah, go on, sorry, you go. No, no, I was going to say if everybody on this list shows up 100%, Lionel wins. Yes, that's, yeah. that's exactly yeah. what my point is. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what my point is. But Lionel, you know, you kind of got to go with the history. Yeah. Yeah. Hassan is looking better and better, though. You know what? We should take a look at Hassan while we're on this. And James, because James just looks stupid. Yeah, wow. James looks crazy. Yeah. So is James doing another show too? He looks really hard right now. I mean, that's a black and white. So, but that that's like how hard he was on stage last year. Yeah, but there's some pictures, yeah. some back shots. I don't know where they were posted at. It's like that. Yeah. With them, yeah. Look at the difference here. Three weeks one, one day out. One, one day, day out. out versus oh, three sorry. Three hours. So he's yeah, doing Puerto Rico out. in three weeks. Okay. Huh. Like this is dramatic. He's looking man. much. Yeah, it is. Is he working yeah. with someone different now? Yeah. It must be. He was working with Aceto. Oh, yeah. I, it's. Uh, yeah, it's not a seat. I actually genuinely don't know who it is. I asked a question and I told what I can't tell you. That's he's got so much fucking muscle on that. Yeah, side. does he ever look at that from the side, man? God. Whoever's working with him has got some triceps. Right. His side poses are yeah. stupid. Jeez. Yeah. He's got those triceps that are so big that like your shoulders can't be big enough to match. It. Yeah. Look at look at the like it digs in here and yeah. his waist looks good. Like the only thing is from the front, he's got those narrow shoulders, eh? Yeah, he's a little bit compact, so it makes him look a little yeah. straight up and down, like here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I think it, he, but he it makes almost, up for it because his quads and his lats, right? But don't don't yeah. you don't you feel like he can pose a little different there, a little make himself look wider? I feel like so. There's two ways, and I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to explain it properly on the podcast. But if you roll your shoulders back and right. roll your chest up, you get this look here. Yeah. But if yeah. you ever if you ever watch Phil Heath do a front relaxed, he almost hunches over his waist. He rolls his shoulders yeah. kind of. He rolls his shoulders wait, wait, wait. forward. Wait, Luke. Luke learned to do his the same way. He learned it from Phil. He said, "Do a most muscular, and then yeah. just let your hands to the right. side." Exactly. Right, exactly. It gives you that X frame oh. that you're looking for. So we'll find a picture here of. I always pull really tall in my front relax. Yeah, really but it yeah. looks good on you. You've no, got... that, that looks good on you though, because you're because your lats shoot out from the front, you yeah. know, so it looks good on you. Right. But I think Every... I think it, it was 2019 that Luke pointed it out, and he changed his front relaxed. Everybody, everybody has to pose. Like posing is not a singular. Like everybody no, has to pose the way that works for them. For sure. So Justin, your posing for you is perfect for you. But then when when yeah. you know a good example of that is like when uh, Nick used to try and do that, it made him look worse. Mm-hmm. It made his legs. It made really his his legs look stumpy mm-hmm. and his leg his torso yeah. look too long. So yeah. everybody's mm-hmm. kind of got to figure out what yeah. is there. I agree. Perfect, right? Let me just see if I can find this. Um, How do you guys feel about the vacuum? I feel like there was a little bit of. Um, controversy uh, regarding like for classic or for bodybuilding and no, bodybuilding <laughs> i think, I, I think like, on jay cutler's podcast they were talking about it what were they saying i think jay was saying that like everybody back in their day could do a vacuum but nobody did it because it just wasn't really that's not true pose. i don't know if it really makes the pose that much better yeah. i think no, the discussion I was like a vacuum in the ab and thigh which yeah. i think 
I can understand that. I, I don't think that's an ab shot. Like I can hit a big, I can hit a vacuum in the ab and thigh, but I, I don't do that on stage. I like it as a transition into the ab and thigh. Yeah. You can pull up and then make it. Right. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But, so there's, uh, there's no way Jay's right. Because yeah, I, I, I remember that. I competed in those days, and yeah. there was very few guys who could do a fucking vacuum. Could actually do it. And if yeah. they could do a vacuum, it wasn't a real vacuum. It was kind of like a, just a and a half. Like vacuum. even like you remember Jay's vacuum, it wasn't like a full vacuum. It was right. like a half. Not vacuum. like the guys yeah. of the seventies, <clears throat> or some of the guys now. And then also, yeah, I think whether a vacuum is good or not is not also is not a single fucking answer. Right. If you're if you're Charles Griffin. You yes. just want to, you want to right. show literally because you could do a vacuum. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? If you're somebody else, it makes you look worse. Like Dennis Wolf, long waist might not look good. Maybe you want to show your abs instead. Right. It's like, yeah. it depends, depends on the fucking person. You can't say it's good or bad. It depends on the athlete, yeah. what they look like. For me, your physique or not, I, yeah. It actually pulls in my waist a little bit when I do it. Yeah. yeah. You look great. I don't, I don't do a full vacuum. I could right. suck. Deeper. Yeah. You do it like a, just to dug in a bit. It I prefer fun. that. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it, it just it really depends because look at Charles Griffin like when he shows I'll bring it up after this I want to show you guys this real quick. Yeah, so it made a is, made a huge difference. This is Phil Heath's front relax. You see the difference between what yeah. we're looking at. Now? Yep, you see exactly. how his sh- shoulders are rolled forward and his chest is almost hanging over his chest. Yep, that's the difference. It's between similar, yeah, but him it's and Hassan, Hassan, Hassan actually is like rolling. And that's how Nick. Backwards. That's like how it's it. Right. What's that? Yeah. What's that, Justin? It's like how Nick it. Nick Nick actually just does it straight up and down, but he's flexing his abs. Yeah, so I will like, say when you, when you hit it like this, that's like he can sit in that forever. Mm-hmm, and you yeah. see a lot of guys that sit tall. You see a lot of belly breathing, and it's not as mm-hmm. flattering. Like he's able to lock mm-hmm. into that. But do you see why? Like, do you, do you know why this makes sense for Phil? It's because he's got the same narrow clavicles that Hassan has. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this actually makes him look wider. If yeah. Phil if Phil was to roll his shoulders back the way Hassan is, this would not look as good. Yeah, see I, the way Phil's got his forearms, way as opposed to Hassan's, were more inside. Yeah, I think it kind of gives you that illusion more of a taper this way too. Yeah, but you can only being... do that. You can only do that if your shoulder girdle is like rotated forward. Yes, and if you got arms like that too, to yeah. Yeah. yeah, but Hassan, Hassan has those arms. Yes, I know so exactly. That's be, why I agree with you. I think he has the, he has arms this big, and his fucking chest is this thick. So he should right. be. It's literally the most honestly though. It's the most muscular, and then he just yeah, yeah. He opens up his arms. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. And then we were talking about, actually, we should go back to Instagram because I want to show for people who were talking about um, vacuums. Look at this before and after or, or uh, comparison. I think I saw it on this page. Look, you see the difference here? Mm-hmm. I mean, yes, his legs are better and everything. Like he's improved yeah. everywhere. But just the difference in the vacuum here versus no vacuum here is like dramatic. Like mm-hmm. how much better his physique yeah. looks. Like in every pose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yep. it's that's like, why you got to play with it and see what looks best on you. That's what I mean. Like you can't really say, oh, I like the vacuum or I don't like the vacuum. It depends on your physique and what looks best on your physique. For sure. Yeah, I agree. So and that's not that's something so he did silly. early. That's not something he always did right in his career. No, that's why I brought Charles Griffin up because what he was doing yeah. in the past was just flexing his abs down. Like uh, if we can go far enough, like I'll show you like last year's shows. Um. There was no vacuum. It was just flexed abs, and it mm-hmm. never, it definitely did not look as good. So yeah, that's something. Like that front lats right, right there with the vacuum. Like, well, this is off season, so I, it's not really fair. So that's so that's something he picked up on in the off season. I threw. He his... learned. He must have learned to do it in the off yeah. season, and it's right. fucking. It's paid off for him. Like, yeah. There's uh, one up there for you. You just missed one. Where? Well, that front lat spread. Where? Up a little bit further. Right there. Yeah, it's still. I want. I was trying to find a stage shot. Oh. oh. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. I just, yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest. I was never wild about my front relax and still, I, until I started doing it with a vacuum. Yeah. No, I, I think, I think for you. honestly, I think more times than not, it looks better. I don't know. I guess I kind of yeah. disagree, disagree with you guys a little bit. Yeah. I think, but we're I talking think, about not a full vacuum though, right? You're talking, I, I thought you meant like the full, like but where a lot of guys. Full, yeah, no, I'm not a fan of a full Well, Charles, vacuum. yeah, no, but like what Justin's saying, like Justin, you don't do a full vacuum, do you? I don't know. I mean, it, I, I could suck it in farther. I mean, you could look at my front relax photo. Well, it doesn't, suck, help if, doesn't help if you keep cutting out. Is that Justin or me? Um, I don't think it was. No, it's Justin. Right, put up, okay. put up Luke's because I know Luke's was a set. He called it a semi vacuum, oh, and he said he he said that he was trying to do the same as Jose Roman. 
do that because yeah, Luke vacuum mm. in front double because mm. Luke changed. He used to do the crunch down. Yeah, Luke was, and doing, then he changed. Luke is doing more of a Jay Cutler. Yeah, the semi. That's yeah. not a full. Yeah, like a semi. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. He, that's what he I meant. He could go in more because I watched him do it. He could go in way more, but he just come up and he would just pop it in a little. Yeah, but like, then that's how if, I did. if you go in way more, you're going to lose detail too, right? Yeah. So right. I think it's better. You, you can still see guys. like detail in his abs. Yeah, th- like with that half sort of vacuum that he's doing. Yeah. You like a semi, Paul? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a half vacuum to it. Oh, a half semi. <laughs> <laughs> vacuum. Luke was so fucking good. Is man. a half semi yeah. a half semi is a quarter, isn't it? No, I think it's fifty percent, isn't it? A half semi is a quarter. Oh, half semi. Half, say, but yeah, half, half 25, 30 percent. You like it flaccid. I don't like, <laughs> like what flaccid. I don't take penis. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't take penis food. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Am I still cutting out? God damn it. No, no, you're I good. You, now. I got you loud and clear. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Let's do some questions. We should do some questions or some rate your physique since we have Paul on here and he's a judge. We can put his judging to the test. Yeah. I'm sure um, right if Paul had to live in the same weather for the rest of his life, what would it be? <laughs> okay, that's a great question. I love that question. <laughs> I would. Uh, I've never been there, but I would probably take Southern California weather. Northern California. Be- no, Southern. I told. I was told Southern California. You don't need air conditioning or heat. That's Northern California. I think it's Southern. Northern gets cold. I think we're in the mountains. Yeah, you get a little cold at night, but Northern California is nicer. That's where. I don't want to get cold at night. I want it to be nice at night too. But then it's hot in the day. I don't think that's right. Southern California is definitely gets hot. You yeah, even in the even on the ocean. Well, maybe in like San Diego, like that's hot. Santa Monica. Hot, man. Maybe, San Diego was fucking hot as bulls when I was. San Diego was hot as really. Shit. Maybe if you're thinking like I don't know, San Francisco Bay Area, it doesn't get too hot. Huh. It doesn't. I wait. Does it end up going into Mexico? I my my USA geography's. I yes, think it goes to Baja right. California. Mm. Uh, in winters, what? In winters, the summers are hot. What? Here, let me just Dude. share this so you guys can be as retarded as I am. <laughs> in winters, the summers are hot, arid, and mostly clear, and the winters are cold. What? What? Nice. The, that just the, makes the sense. Summer months. The well, thank you. Win, winter months are like December, January, February, right? There you go. If we had, what city in California is best weather year round? All right, here we go. Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara That's is right. Long recognized as having arguably best climate in the state and the best weather in the U.S. That's right, Liv. Okay, Santa Barbara it is. All right, Santa Barbara. Is there a lot of homeless uh, people in Santa Barbara? I don't want to live there. Uh, just, just no, we're talking about the climate. Do you find him a house? Gonna, you know what? I'm gonna, th- I'm gonna <laughs> take a check out the housing market what's, there, Fuad. Because what's, what's the what's the school district like? I need to know that too. I need to know that. It's very important. Uh, one in four homeless people. In Santa Whoa, Barbara. that's a little too high for my liking. <laughs> I don't think I'd go there. Want to live somewhere else? Yeah, I want to live somewhere else. Where do you want to live? Uh, go to go Hawaii. Back my, go back to my roots. I'll go to Italy. Oh, there you go. Italy is nice. Italy? Yeah. Rome? Uh, yeah, that's where I'm from. Oh, Rome in like August. Oh, You're half really French, sweet. though. Well, not really. What yeah, the French are assholes. Yeah, That's, Paul's half French. I'm not half French. Food. What the my fuck? Dad's you French. Your name's Lozon. What are you talking about? My dad's about? French. I don't, I don't know anyone on my dad's side. My dad's French. I'm not half French. Well, I mean, I guess technically, well, but I wasn't, I wasn't raised French. Was it? <laughs> I wasn't raised French. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> no. like in the culture. I wasn't raised in the French culture. <laughs> okay, so Italy is Italy is predominantly Mediterranean climate with mild sometimes rainy winters and sunny and hot usually dry summers uh, i like it dry oh, really good. okay all it's right good for my allergies oh who's that whoa wally Wally. Hey, <laughs> how old is he he's about two and a half he's adorable is that a french bulldog does he yeah, ever he's... does he ever lick your face after he licks his balls yeah, all the time. I love it. Don't you hate that? <laughs> no, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> doesn't my kids you? want one of those. Uh, no, honestly, he can't really. He can't really reach his balls. No, <laughs> he's got no flexibility. <laughs> no, are they like? Are they like super inbred to the point where they can't do much? Yeah, I think so. Bye. Thank you. I appreciate it. 
You uh, about... you want a friend? Your two kids want a Frenchie? Yeah, yeah. Dude, they're awesome dogs. They're super good. Really? Well, they calm. Well, yeah, my, mine's pretty calm. Yeah, they're awesome. They're great. Do you walk them? Do you take them for walks? Yeah, yeah and they gas time. out quick. You can take them. That's what I was gonna say. And sleep for four hours. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Paul, just Paul, like so Paul so I got a dog. Paul sold low maintenance. Yeah. I'm in. Well, I take on a block once or twice. He's done. My fucking pit bull goes for hours. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to eat dogs. Relentless. I take the the dogs park. the same way. Yeah. yeah, nonstop, man. I run him at the park forever, and he gets home and he's tired for like half an hour, and then he's ready to play again. Yeah, he's like, big. Um, a question: What's the weight limit for a girl to ride your face? Yeah. Well, weight's not important. Two twenty. Yeah. Pr- I was like, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, oh, I mean, like, <laughs> you can't put a number on it. Cut. Depends on how they delete this. Yeah, yeah. I should even answer. I should even answer that. Oh, just any any size, baby, bring it on. Yeah, I'll just say my waist weight. <laughs> 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 Paul totally forgot. Don't ask me those questions. Who? Well, you're the, you just, you're so stoned you forget you're on a podcast. Uh, I, well, I know. I like, always see you guys. Don't think I didn't listen to this stuff. Do I really have to delete that? Fuck. Yes. You no. Know. Much work? What? Come on. Yes. What are you talking no. About? Just, okay. Just the part where I said something. What did just, you know? Just <laughs> bleep so it out. What? Just bleep no, it out. That's the best part. Wrong. Just bleep it out. What you were you were being you were being a feminist. You weren't discriminating against women. Yeah, you were saying anyway. Of all good. sizes. Oh, you know you can do it. Yeah. Okay, this is what you can do then. You can you can you can take what I said out and put whatever you want in. No. <laughs> oh, what you said is more funny. Uh, I'll delete it. I don't want to get you fucking divorced. I'll what do you think was that? You can't edit that many out. That's your limit. All right. Yeah, the we podcast were... ended up being like an hour long. Okay, yeah, by the time you edit the crap yeah. out of this one. You honestly, you didn't say anything wrong. All right. I have to edit you the part you about... want big women sitting on your face. Okay. <laughs> I'll edit it out. Don't worry, Paul. I can see this nervousness. Really? I can editing. see the nervousness <laughs> in his face. <laughs> not nervous. I've always read. No, I can see you like <laughs> contemplating. Am I going to get in a fight? I'm not going to get in a fight. <laughs> All right. So we'll start again. Ready? Cut. All right. Yeah, you froze. Kidding. What's the uh, what's the weight limit for a girl to ride your face? <laughs> Imagine Paul, Paul forgot it. Imagine he forgot he answered again. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's pretending he's cutting out. Oh, oh my god, I can't hear you. Out. Oh, bad connection. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Paul, can you hear us? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Oh, now you can hear us. <laughs> Let's move on. Next one. Okay. <laughs> You're gone. <laughs> Shit, am I gonna have to? Am I gonna have to log out? Why you can't? Yeah, you look like you're chopping up a bit. <laughs> yeah, should I log out? Log back in? Yeah, do it. Okay. Bye, Dad. Um, let's read a physique. No, let's not read a physique. Nah, fuck that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I I hate the numbers. Uh, six point two. Why? I think he's a six point three. Why? Well, this is very seems scientific. so arbitrary. I don't know. Very scientific. <laughs> you know? <laughs> For an amateur, and the, uh, he's a nine, but if he was a pro, he's a two. Hey, people take our, take our ratings very seriously. I fucking I know. know they do. They light your inbox up with them. Hmm? I know. Like, bro, that meant so fucking much to me, man. You have no idea. Okay, well, let's let's cut back in. Paul, are you back? Oh, wait. <laughs> he's just... you, gotta let, you gotta let him in. <laughs> I do. I don't mind reading the physiques. I do appreciate. What are you eating? I'm jealous. I'm hungry. Chicken, rice, olive oil. I had chicken thighs today, and I haven't had them forever, and they're fucking delicious. Fucking good, man. Yeah, I love a good. Oh, chicken we thigh. Those, do, you, do you guys need those make some macros again? Oh, I haven't got them yet. They actually. So I'm working for those who care. I'm working with made to macros. I think Ben or Nick hooked that up. What is it? Because they, they ship to Canada now. They're a meal meal uh, prep company. Oh really? And they shipped to Canada, so they're gonna they're shipping me a bunch of meals, but I don't got them yet, so I don't know what's going on. Are you talking about for? Dude, I, I, I meant for the travel. Oh, you mean them. for Wisconsin this weekend? No, I or, or or for the other trips. Because I should actually talk to her about that. I didn't. I should ask her about that. Are they Canadian or American? No, they're from Florida. from Texas or Florida. Florida, Florida, Florida. Florida. Yeah. Florida? Yeah, I was wondering. Like, but my my whole my whole family all this shit. No shit, but no, no. But I wonder stuff. how. Like, I'm, like, is I would you know my concern is I'm like is it going to get here in time without like it going bad? And what if yeah, those freeze those just, yeah. just, they yeah. they come in they, they stay frozen forever. for a good few oh, days. We, yeah, would yeah. we stay at a hotel in Madison? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I want my own private shitter. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. I, you guys can't share shitters. 
No. Mm. No. no, I don't want to share shit with Justin. No, this guy. I don't want to. Yeah. Uh, this is the guy that was late sure. on the podcast because he was shit in his pants out. I have you I got to edit this out. <laughs> Why? <laughs> 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 he's, he's no, 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 I'm on the toilet. My brain, my brain is now just thinking of stuff that I can say that he has so to edit out. out. So my editing, I say for four yeah. hours editing the podcast. And you're gonna, I've never actually done that. I've, ne- I've never intentionally sabotaged your podcast, but it's a good idea. I'm gonna plan it one day. Well, today is a theme of today's podcast, so it's happening. Yeah. Uh, do you think swimming would be a good replacement for a traditional bike, treadmill, stepper, etc.? Swimming's great. It's yeah. great. But if you're yeah. big, if you're big, swimming's really fucking hard. Yeah. yeah. But I mean it's great cardio and it's gonna Yeah, of course. Help. Yeah. But like I don't know, let's That's just fun. say you're actually a bodybuilder and in prep, you're gonna go to a pool and swim out of something. If you're yeah, if you're like if you have any good amount of muscle on you, it's gonna be very hard to fucking swim. Yeah. Yeah. Where is he? Show me. There he is. Oh, hey buddy. Uh, There's the big man. Hi. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, hi. Oh, he's hey, cute. Hi. Hi, Hello. Hoss. Hi. Hoss. Hoss. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hoss. It's me, 220. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. It's me, 220. He's like, oh, yeah, I remember you. <laughs> Top three affordable prep coaches. That's so hard to answer. What do you mean affo- <laughs> yeah, affordable? I don't know the prices. I don't know the three worst coaches that I can give you that are cheap. Yeah. You pay, you get what you pay for. So, yes. yeah, true. Um, if all the guys on the podcast had a foot race, who would win? Guy. Yeah. Yeah. Probably guy. Lightest. He's the lightest. Yeah, or Ben. Ben with his long legs. Well, Ben's actually yeah. Back now that he's back to his athleticism. Well, Ian's a fucking runner. Maybe. Yeah, but not if, Samson's not got a, long not legs. Three hundred pounds. Yeah, but he even posted a video of him running on the track not that long ago. He was still pretty. I but... know I could be Ian in a foot race right now. You think? <laughs> <laughs> the guy weighs three hundred pounds, man. You yeah. run twenty-five minute miles. No, 14. 14? How about Samson? Yeah. All right. I'm down to 14. Oh, Samson's black. And yeah. he's got long legs. Well, he's not really. he used to play right. rugby. Well, just because he's black, it doesn't mean he can run. Oh, yes, it yes, does. It does. Yeah, yes, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah, it's a fact. It's a yeah. fact. They go, they go big dicks and they're quick. Big dicks and quick. Have you ever seen a slow one? Have I ever seen a slow one? That's the worst. <laughs> I'm sorry. That didn't sound right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That did not. I, after, yeah. After I said it, I knew it didn't sound right. I apologize. You people. Uh, that didn't sound right. I apologize. Yeah, delete the whole podcast. Let's start over. <laughs> you know I love black people, Fred. I love black people. <laughs> She's getting worse. Getting worse. Getting worse. <laughs> Always love the blacks. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, they do work. I love hard. everybody. Paul gets a pass, though. Because I'm married his, to a black lady. Yeah, his wife is half black or something. Yeah. Something. Some, <laughs> some, some, some percentage. <laughs> it, it's, it's enough that it makes me good. Yeah. <laughs> some percentage. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hawking <Hell. laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 Paul. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. Oh, You're gonna edit this, right? <laughs> no. no, dude. You can't edit this. Well, this podcast is gonna fucking suck. Anytime we I know it's yeah. just gonna be a bunch of cut bunch of little pieces. Do you guys ever use a handicap stall in a yes. restaurant? Yes. 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 You mean the big one, right? Well, I, mean, I, I prefer allowed. that one. To be perfectly honest, I feel just like allowed to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a pet. <laughs> I prefer that one. Well, everybody prefers that one, but isn't that kind of wrong? Yes. Wow. What's the chances that a handicap person is going to need a ball? Yeah, but if there? he does and he's got a shit really bad, Wait. you're like, eh, sorry. Wait, hold hold Wait, on. I've saying. never, I've, I've okay. never, I always do what Paul, I've always thought the way Paul does, and I never thought anything bad of it until we're now talking about it. And now I realize I'm doing what I'm doing is wrong. Yeah, but I'm not going to be in there all day. Like I'm only gonna be in there for a little, you know, a few minutes. Yeah, but what there's if, no what argument. What it's, if the guy comes I, in in a wheelchair and he's got a shit, and you're like, oh, emergency. hold on, buddy, how I'm does shitting. he know that I'm not handicapped? How does you're he know gonna, that I'm not you're handicapped? Gonna walk no, you're not. You know you're not. You, you know, know you're not. Crawl out I know I'm not. 
<laughs> no, but I mean, I mean, he's gonna see me when I walk out. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's gonna be well, like, he's waiting outside of the he's bathroom. Like, I got to fucking shit mm-hmm. really bad. You're fucking. Well, hopefully he's not waiting outside the bathroom door though. Maybe I he's totally waiting would. outside. I would sit in my wheelchair outside the door. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> just right. to make sure the person's handicapped. <laughs> then you got to smell what the person's. <laughs> then you got to smell what the rock is cooking. Yeah, I right. Yeah, you're gonna sit there. You're getting all those toilet plumes. I have to admit, I use the handicap stall, but I always feel bad about it when I'm using it. Oh, of course. Really? Yeah, I always feel guilt-ridden while I'm shitting. <laughs> I, never, I, I, was, I, I never I never felt guilty about it until today. Now you realize <laughs> you're doing something wrong. You've just ruined it for me. I now can't take a shit in that. You know what that is? Especially like in the airport, you're rolling, you got your bags and shit, and you're fucking big. Oh, I hang up, I hang up. One of the backs. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed nobody in the airport cares when they're shitting. It's just let loose. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's limited yeah. options up there, and it's better than the, the one on the plane. So yeah. All right. What is yeah. the biggest downfall of being the size you are? Gassing out while That's airplanes question. while banging the old lady. You think sex? You think airplanes? <laughs> I don't actually think sex. <laughs> airplanes is a good one. I hate. Fun. Well, I'm not even that big. I but think. Like, I can I think, imagine what it is for some of you guys. I think clothing. I hate, not, yeah. I hate getting not things to fit wear. properly. Yeah, I hate not being able to wear what I want to wear because nothing yeah. fits right. You get you get pants and they're all huge at the waist all the now, time. Now I'm fine. Now like 260, I can find stuff that fits like pretty good. Well, oh, nice, nice nice small air. Yeah, 260. I'm nice, clean, aerodynamic 260. Mm-hmm. But at 300, <laughs> the 300, there's no fucking way. Like everything. Yeah. Well, you never have a That's all the sweat. Be, uh, you didn't have the oversized body bag. Right well, there. I had oversized yeah. body bag. I'm talking about nice clothes. <laughs> yeah. Plus sweating all the time. Well, are you, are you oh, setting these up? All right, one. cut. Hey, that wait, wait, one. cut. You just... Oh, yeah. Sorry, cut Karen. what? They said cut what? You were you said, I said about, you, you said these are, aren't nice ones. They are very nice. Oh, oh yeah. Lovely. Right. People should buy them, yeah. I meant like... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I know. Sold out. This is, I had these. This is what I had. No. Um, <laughs> Paul said the best one. Sweating. Sweating. Mm. That was my biggest fucking nightmare when I was big. I am. Yeah. I'm a lot more. To- I'm a lot more tolerant of like the sun, like being outside now. I'm a little yeah. lighter. Yeah. And I'm and yeah. I and I'm not. I'm not light, but it's a noticeable difference from two ninety to thirty pounds heavier. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, if you change genders, what would your name be and why? Justine. Paulina. Paul. Paula. My aunt Paula. Paula. Is that Aunt Paula? Bad. She's like my favorite person. Know, what, what's, you can't turn mine into a female person. Oh, well, just Brenda. 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 Oh, that sounds that sounds pretty uh, masculine, even for a woman. Yeah, I'll take Brenda. I'll be fucking Brenda. Yeah. Brenda. Yeah, Brenda's good. Oh, I, suits you. Oh, I, suits you. Well, you're more of a you're more of a Barb. Or like, like a, yeah. <laughs> Barbie. Yeah. Oh, Bar- Bar- oh, I, Barbara. I was about alright. I'm Bob. Oh, fucking right. Barb. Yeah, I'm Barb. <laughs> Bob. Barbara. <laughs> Barb the Butch. <laughs> um, two days before a show you have to cheat on one your wife or your diet what the fuck okay. I'm not those before questions. Paul says something <laughs> yeah <laughs> What's that? I, I, I can't answer that like, yes you can, yes, you can. Sh- say diet say diet <laughs> <laughs> you tell me what to say, Ben, from now on. <laughs> I'll look at you, Ben. You tell me what to say. Yeah. Well, it's risky. Uh, okay. Yeah. Favorite, favorite seasoning to add to your food? I just pink salt, dude. I was going to say salt. Seasoning, seasoning salt. Yeah. Yeah, just salt. You seasoning I mean, salt, your regular one. salt. Yeah, if I had to pink pick one, it's just salt. Me too. I think yeah. salt. Yeah, because even when I'm I making pick. my, like, if I make pasta with meat sauce or if I'm, like, making a steak, I usually just put salt and pepper yeah mm-hmm. yeah i, I put seasoning salt pepper. a lot what's that ben i don't even do peppers i can't i don't just do I'm salt just, sweet, just straight sweet. yeah that's it i can, I really? can do just i could do just salt yeah like when i'm marinating a steak before i throw it on the barbecue i usually use salt pepper and olive oil yeah like, you know what yeah. i got into recently this mrs dash yeah mr dash <laughs> wait 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 it's good mr dash mrs dash right <laughs> mrs dash it's been around for fun. I used to use that like my first prep. What do you mean? Just got into it. Like, well, he's just now, he's just now. I know, but he said it like, like this Mrs. Dash. Like, it's good. Like, I never tried it before. 
Is it, is it misses or mister? It's misses, right? It's misses. 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 Yeah, misses. Oh, like I one I got misses. Is misses. Maybe it's a mister. You know, I found these shoes. Oh, I think I found them. They're called Nikes. Huh? They, they feel great. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I hate Nikes. They kill my feet. That's not the I got point. those new Jordans I bought for it. <laughs> I'm making fun of you because of the Mrs. Dash, you idiot. Uh, <laughs> um, what? Uh, yeah. No, Mrs. Dash is great. I used to use it because I used to think that you didn't eat salt. Like salt was bad when you were dieting. Oh, yeah, was, and then yeah. I realized do you that remember? That was seriously wrong. You were such an idiot. Do you remember? Um, do you remember Molly McButter? Yeah, I love that shit. Did you? That yeah. must have been. So I don't know. Uh, you know what I, you know what I always fake wanted? butter, fake butter sprinkles. Oh, it's awesome. But, when you're dieting. Wait, what? Fake butter sprinkles? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah it was butter. called it's Molly like McButter. Here, watch a shake. It was butter shake. That's Just, like Justin, sure. do you know what it is? No, that's a Canadian. You guys thing. ever heard of it? I don't think it's around anymore. It's not Canadian. I don't think it's around anymore. Butter sprinkles. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it must have been so full of chemicals. There it is. The Del- delicious. Molly McButter. Fat fr- <laughs> fat free. <laughs> fat free. So it was good for you. <laughs> but this is but, but, but Paul, remember uh what's his name? Ronnie used to use this one on his grits. Oh, that's right. He did. Remember, or he it wasn't his, it was, it was, yeah, right, right. his rice or his grits or something. He used to use the cheese one. I think his grits. I think yeah. it was his grits. And I always, wanted, right. I always wanted to find the cheese one because I saw Ronnie using it, and I could never find. Order it. some, Fouette. You see what that <laughs> is. <laughs> I'm all in McButter, man. It makes everything taste better. It does. Right. It had a really good taste to it. We were serious fat fuck, so that's, that's let's admit it. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Paul actually taught me something new about Instacart. I never even heard of it before. Really. I don't have to ever leave yeah. my house again. You've been shopping like a fucking peasant? Like a fucking <laughs> Neanderthal. I've been going to the grocery store. I have not gone to the grocery store in ages. Oh, my God. It's wonderful. I go on the fucking <laughs> a few days ago, and I'm like, I'll have some chicken. I'll have some fucking whatever. Mm-hmm. Next day, yeah. shows up at my house. See, I don't know. Yeah, but I don't. Wait, I don't trust that. So oh, it was perfect. Want, so if, no, wait, wait. If well, I want like fresh fruit and veg. Listen, I, I tell them it. specifically, I say, yeah, I wouldn't. send me pictures of the bananas. Oh, oh, you do that, do that on yours? I don't think you do text that you exactly. Like, I'm serious because they bring brown bananas. Be like, I, I not oh. too ripe. Send pictures. Oh, send me pictures of the bundles oh. of bananas. I'll say, yeah, those look good. Oh. Isn't there oh, a thing yeah. on there? Isn't sorry to cut you off. Isn't there a thing on there though that if they if they get something that you're not satisfied with, they'll credit back your credit card the cost of it? Yeah, they will. I've 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 made a stink about stuff before. Listen, I ordered a bunch of shit. Everything I got was exactly what I wanted, except for the head of lettuce I got was like this big. But yeah. other than that. <laughs> Other than that, this. it was fucking amazing. I'm like, this is. I don't trust. Yeah. I don't trust. I don't trust people. I don't man, trust I'm telling you, man. Their arm. She rubbed that lettuce on her armpit and went. It's in a, it was in a bag. Still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She rubbed it on the thing, and then you. Sometimes, like, sometimes you get shoppers, <laughs> but why would she rub it on her armpit? <laughs> I, don't know, I didn't want to. Say, I didn't want to say on her fanny. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I'm telling you, I'm never going to the grocery store again. Hell no, never. I don't, yeah. So between Instacart and Uber Eats, I'd never have to leave the house again except for to yep. go to the gym. I right? have not been inside Costco. The only time I went inside Costco is when I filmed that shopping video for Hostile. This is yeah. a social anxiety person's dream come true. I just stayed home yep. and yeah, everybody has so bad. Go. No one develops Some any fucking pasta. Yeah, really skills, okay. <laughs> I'm joking. But, I'm no, I was in, yeah, I know. Last week I was in a, I went for sushi. Yeah. And this fucking robot with trays comes around and just, and yeah. I went, Mm-mm. this is like a fucking oh, wow. black, mirror, black mirror. And you have to like take your order and then say like thank you and it fucks off. To That's the next great. Thing. So you don't got a tip though. Am you I never, am you I never been to those like the sushi boat that rolls around? Yeah, yeah, I've been to those. No, yeah. that's different though. That's not a fucking robot. Oh, so so you, okay, yeah. so you actually, you you ordered it. And no, then... we, were, we were at tables and a waitress yeah. came out and took our order and she yeah. fucked it off. And then when the food was ready, they put, they loaded the Chef loads it all onto a tr- uh, robot and it. Oh, wow. It comes okay. All the way to your table. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. this is fucked up. Like, comes yeah. over there. It just, it just sits some there. Some are predicting improvement it. soon. But as our Nicole Nielsen found out tonight, some restaurants are tired of waiting. In the month of metro area, growing states in the country, many of those roles are going unfilled. Ed Sills of Texas A. Laduni has turned to robots for workers. I had people who tell me, well, they're taking people's jobs. Guess what? No, they're not.
has been nearly impossible. Look at this. There are yeah, three oh, robots yeah. take guests to tables, bring out orders, and even sing oh. happy birthday. The goal isn't to replace all their staff, but to help supplement the jobs birthday. no one else seems to want. <laughs> and they don't complain. <laughs> and they're happy to do it. Ed says until those jobs become more desirable, it's no surprise businesses will have to get creative. The market is finally working on the head. Oh, they don't the complain. Workers. Amazing. That's it's amazing, but it's also oh, unfortunate. Yeah. So I bet my favorite is Paul's two yeah, comments. Wow. One, well, you don't have to tip. And two, oh. <laughs> say happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you're the best. <laughs> I you know what? I, That's I think cool. I'm the only guy in my age bracket <clears throat> that actually loves technology. Yeah, you're the only one. You, that's okay, it. I'm not the only one you asshole. I just mean like I'm on so I'm on this telegram thing with like Evan and Chris Tuttle and all these guys. And you know, they're all around my age. And yeah, I feel like they don't like technology at all. They're like, oh, remember like in the remember in the 90s, remember before phones, remember before internet, remember, remember when everything before? fucking sucked and, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, there's nobody do cool, each other. I'm like, yeah. there, there's some cool stuff that for sure like existed when there was no phones and no but think about all the cool shit we do now technology i yeah. can literally there's order, a lot of cool stuff i can order groceries to my fucking house yep. yeah that's amazing yeah. yeah i don't think that is good though i don't i don't like what that leads to yeah but you know what ben you know what ben you know what the good thing me and fu had talked about us today you don't order like you're not gonna order like the, the cookies and shit that you're gonna get while you're there you know no, you're no, he means he means like this you no he <laughs> No, you don't. Me, well, yeah, you might still. For me no, no. personally, it leads to more productivity. That way, I'm not wasting time. Like, I know I got to go yeah. work. I no, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, no. I don't mean what it leads to for you as an individual. Yeah. Sure, I, mean, I know. I know it's, what it's leading to in terms as a society. Of oh, the automation. Okay, well, well, gonna, wait, yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Just, no, I agree with you there. Let me. Okay. So, I agree 100 percent with the guys on Telegram and with most people that like suicides are up and it's bad for kids sometimes and. Sure. There's yeah. a lot of negatives that come with social media, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. I think you always got to take the good with the bad. There's a lot of good that comes with, from it also. For sure. So it's like people love to complain, but think about how much cool shit we get to do. Uh, but, but there is a, there's, okay, and I agree, but do you not think that 10, 20, 30 years, that good to bad ratio might start tipping the For other sure. way? You could look at it that way, or you could look at it like we're still in our infancy of learning how to use technology. And as we get more accustomed to having social media and having things, that it might get better. That's but the trend, but the, but the evidence says that people are going to become less socially adept, more reclusive, yeah. more depressed. That's the way this kind of trend in. So I'm not I'm not disagreeing with that at all. That's a, that's one way to look. We at it. we we I get I get it for you and us right now. It's probably great because we get to like we've been brought up in the old yeah. school, yeah. Well, kind of old school, but you know, but yeah, we before. get to benefit from we had the benefit before it just becomes stupid. I yeah, think yeah. that's the way I look. But at I think that's going to be the same way for everything, right? So like if you look at like my yeah. nephew when he was ten years old, they had like I don't know a CD or the first iPod, and they're like, oh, this is cool. Now they have a fucking iPhone. They don't even have iPods anymore. So everybody's feeling the yeah. advancements, right? I, but yeah. I think I think almost if you'd have gone back to say 2012 or 2015, Before I feel like that media. was I feel like that was like the peak of where we had good enough technology that we could enjoy life on a on a pretty fucking luxurious level. Yeah. Right. We can fly around the world, we can FaceTime. Yeah. That should have been the peak. And I feel, oh, it was the peak. And I feel like now it's like, there's more technology, but it hasn't equaled better. It's kind of so come with has it, made, has it made life better? So I guess what I will say is I'm always looking forward to new technology, but I'm also aware of like stuff like social credit scores and uh, wallets like that have your fucking, you know, digital wallets where they have your passport and information. The government has all your, I'm also very aware of like the corruption that could come with technology. Yeah. But I, again, I'm like, you can't go back. So maybe you should just look at the best parts of it. Maybe as yeah. society as a whole should start to learn how to use it better instead of like. I think that's the that's the most. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the only yeah. way. Learning how to navigate it. Yeah. Well, I just think it's it, as, a, as a society we're kind of like in the infancy of having all this technology, so nobody really knows how to use it to their advantage. No, you're right. You can't go backward. You can't go backwards, and you can't tell people, okay, let's stop. 
yeah, don't even imi- don't let's just, anymore. Right, let's just yeah. stay, let's just stay as you are. Yeah. Right? So, I, I get it. Your answer is, yeah, we're gonna have to learn to do it the best way we can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, don't yeah. get me wrong, it's like I the have, internet. I, I have some nostalgia to like growing up and seeing the wall on the phone and like not knowing who's calling, the phone on the wall. you know, or sorry, the, the wall on the phone, but, yeah, the phone on the wall. Sorry, and but, uh, but the other thing as well, the other thing to put it, yeah, I mean, we had an argument with Denise because we were in we, we went to Houston and back the weekend and we had the kids in the car and he's watching the tv the whole time yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and i'm yeah, like yeah i remember playing yeah. i remember fighting with my sister in the back and but we were playing cards then my mom would turn around but we yeah. would talk and we would engage and yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. Family, like, right playing i spy right but and, then, and so i said to denise when i buy a new truck there's not a fucking tv in this thing yeah 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 but I think- you gotta i think you gotta draw limits with kids for certain things you know when it comes to technology I was going to say that, Paul, and you can speak on it because you have two kids also. But isn't it like what I find is when I hear parents say, like, my kid gets two hours a night on their phone or whatever the amount of time, like there's a time limit. Right. I feel like right. that's that's kind of the way society should go. It's not just like, here's yeah. a iPad, fuck off to another room right. for the, right. as long as you that's want. Also, that's also, that's other thing in China. It's a, yeah. it's a digital, it's a digital babysitter, right? Effectively. Yeah. Well, this yeah. is I, actually Justin brings up a good point, and that's actually something I agree with, even though it's totally not democratic or whatever yes, you want to call I know, it. No, it is. It is a bit bizarre. It's like a, a fine line. They, but they turn off. What do they do? They turn off their internet at like midnight yeah, or they, ten they, o'clock. Oh, China. Yeah. 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 At like certain. Yeah. Time. They turn it off from like yeah. midnight to six or something like that. Yeah. Six a.m. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and isn't it that the the internet that they do have when it's on is very limited anyway as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's all kinds of filters, probably. And I think too, their social media, instead of having those trending pages where it just continuously gives you stuff that pauses every few minutes and educational you, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a good that's idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. I actually, so Denise and I, yeah. like a few weeks ago, we were in bed watching tip, and she got one of her friends sent her a TikTok video. And I've never been on the thing, but she was flicking through it. And like we got sucked into it for like 30 yeah. minutes. So you- and then I was like, I was like, hey, I'm gonna go, like, I need the bathroom. Got up, and I was like, Oh, I yeah. feel like my I feel like I got more stupid in 30 minutes. Yeah. Like, my brain was just like beat up. I was like, I was tired, but I was wired. Oh, it was this weird right. fucking thing. Yeah. So I'm just I don't I don't do TikTok, but that's what I've heard about it. So I'm reading um, some shit here. It says uh China has set new rules for limiting the amount of time children can play online games. The restrictions limit children to just three hours of online game playing a week. That is one a week? hour a week. That is oh, wow. that is one hour between wow. 8 p.m. and nine p.m. I can get good at it. one second. I can get good at a game. Just one second. That is one hour between eight p.m. and nine p.m. on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, most weeks. So during, also, the week, during the weekdays, nothing. Yeah. It also says wow. Uh, That's, China I'm, children in China could be banned from playing online games after midnight under a new rule designed to combat internet addiction amid rising concerns over mushrooming military style boot camps and treatment centers. So I think, I think what they're doing, like, and so there's these two things where they're limiting internet access, but I also read that on TikTok, part of the way their TikTok works is they almost are like uh, rewarding, edu- ac- they're rewarding academics. And academics. Stuff. Yeah. They, they're they not, re- yeah. Yeah. They're education. not rewarding like, you know, big tits and big asses and like dancing. Right. They're rewarding like, I know they're, they're missing out on that part. They but, do that. But yeah. don't why say would, anything. Don't say anything Paul. Stop talking, Paul. Paul, stop. <laughs> Go. <laughs> drop, drop that piece. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Delete. <laughs> what was the timestamp on that? For yeah. <laughs> no, but it's weird because part of you wants to agree with it, but then part of you is like, well, what about our fucking freedom? Yeah, so yeah it's, it's a fine line. But if you see that it's helping kids, then you're like, wait a minute. But I guess it should be up to the parents. Oh, uh, it should be up to the parents so how, how much they uh, limit. Yeah. How what you just described, that's how this I run a 10-year-old stepson. That's how Denise runs the shit around here. But that's what I mean. There's it no, should be the parents. Yeah. It should be the parents. Decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah but yep. not all parents are that no. Okay, cut cut. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but I think I think but I think China knows that, and they're like, you know what, we're gonna do it. We're gonna take care of it for you. Yeah, you're gonna... not you're not to be trusted. Not all yeah. of you. Yeah. All, not if all of you could yeah. be, then fine. But not all people can be trusted. I gotta say though, even though it sounds attractive for young, like to help young people like that. Imagine, imagine that though. If like all of a sudden we're like, oh, it's nine o'clock. Sorry guys, internet's going off. Crap. But, 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 but. Yeah. If that's if that's all you well, know, then it's fine, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's only because well, we know different. There's a different this is option. Ben's. This is Ben's Asian side coming up. Yeah, <laughs> but three hours a week. <laughs> I like some of the ideas. Keep talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. You anyway. could never get good at a video game. You need hours to master a game. Yeah, I don't think they give a shit about that. They're like, let's I know. the genetics. I they're like, the let's genetics save our kids and make sure yeah. they're freaks in school instead of like making sure they're good at games. Yeah, but they're gonna suck at NBA 2K20. Yeah, but they're gonna rule the world. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a good trade off. <laughs> yeah, they're building an army. Yeah. We should we should yeah. be fucking worried. By the way, we should yeah. be fucking yeah. worried. Absolutely. And I'm playing NBA 2K20. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right, boys, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, okay. I'll see you guys at Sups Madison on two days. Friday. We're gonna train back. Yes. Well, hey, I'll, I'll see you. Right I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, if you thought I had a shit back before, oh boy, uh, can't wait to make. it. We're gonna we're gonna run and we're gonna run and bike first so that Justin can't keep up. <laughs> I'm we're gonna a, beat you at something. Pre exhaust. Yeah, pre exhaust. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So your back is probably still better than mine. No, it's poop right now. Melted. Is it poop? Yeah, <laughs> poop. Just salty butter. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you guys soon. All right. See you guys. See you guys. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.